Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Parliament of Owls. My name is Jake. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend and you're heading into an even better Wait, what did I just say? Did I just say I hope you had a really good Keep weekend? Time traveling, Jake. Wow. <laughs> Holy hell. He, Jake has a time step. Is it Monday? <laughs> Should I be this is This is our time traveling episode. Okay. So. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi, everyone. Welcome to Parliament of Vows. My name is Jake. I hope you had a wonderful week and you're about to have an even better weekend. But before you do that, let's get into a uh, this horrible, evil group of people who do horrible and twisted things uh let's go around the table and introduce ourselves like i said my name is jake and i go by he him but i'll be playing a bunch of different characters so we'll keep the fuck up uh let's uh you know what let's we're gonna go guest last so i i surprised i surprised live last week so we're not gonna start with live we're gonna go with drac go I mean, it's not really a surprise. I had a feeling you're gonna go to me. Um, hi, I'm you're Jack just on the comics. top. You're on the top of the overlay, so it yeah, was like. <laughs> <I know. laughs> hey, I'm Jack uh, or Draconic. You can find me on Twitter at Draconic. That's D R A K O N I Q U E S. Uh, my stream over the place is honestly the best place to find out where I am and when I am. Honestly, because I'm never entirely sure. Um, and today I'm playing Imra Ajaleth, also uses he they pronouns. The the most popular, the kindest, sweetest, most humble member of this group um the sorcerer the elven vampire um honestly you said, just the, the you said two correct things <laughs> <laughs> just honestly the full package everyone loves him um and yeah i'm very excited also i i apologize in advance to our guest for the person i'm about to be um, <laughs> 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 a terrible way to start a sentence. An mm -hmm. abysmal way to start a sentence. <laughs> but a good warning to give. <laughs> I'm exactly. Just a very yeah. warning to give. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why don't we move on to Valk? Hello. My name is Valkyrie, also known as Valkyrie.xo. I go by she, her. I play Mara, who also goes by she, her. I'm one of it, hopefully, at least your top 10 teethling rogues i'd hope considering there are billions of them um and yeah i don't have anything else going on at the moment because i'm busy with work <laughs> and for cat always has something going on though oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes i do hi my name is cat scratch or cat my pronouns are she her and i play lenny a magus Fetchling, um, who tries her best and is maybe a bit too aggressive. Uh, I am in a lot right now, but perhaps most notably, I'm doing a podcast uh, called Forgotten Pass, and it's pretty cool and out on Mondays. But other than that, everything else is not released yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I very specifically on the overlay put Liv and Kat as far away as I possibly could while they were still being on the same screen. Because after Kat's cosplay this week, I was just afraid that Liv... I respectfully pine from afar, okay? <laughs> I respect Kat, <laughs> and I respectfully pine from afar. If you need you something, you know, I got the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we've been talking about how we need to hang like, out. Hit so me we'll up. Hit me it up. <laughs> this, this entire conversation is about to go on to OnlyFans. So uh, before it gets there, before it gets there, let's meet our very special guest, Haley. Um, just, just, is Liv not going? No, He's late. I'm, no, I'm constantly no, fucking disrespected on this channel. So no, no, I don't. <laughs> this is, get an this is actually another part. This we actually wanted to mention this. Um, this is actually Haley's test run to see if we can replace the <laughs> Not you replacing me with the white right person. <laughs> that's that's why we that's why we were like, what's what that the spell again? What, yeah, what was, was that spell again that you have? <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. That's what you have now, Haley. <laughs> Well, well, we just felt like the demographic was just not white enough. You <laughs> <laughs> no, no, got I the whitest that. person online to do the show. It's great. Thank you. I understand that the demographics for white cast members are fucked over here. We <laughs> <laughs> really need to balance it out. Look, if Critical Role can do it, why can't we? You know? <laughs> oh, you just yeah, down. Honestly, yeah. oh. 
Honestly, yeah. next I'm gonna leave because then because like Critical Role, you only had that one person on color. Yeah, and then and they're, they're right. And then yeah. I'm gonna feel uncomfortable, and so then I'll leave. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, because then drag that's we're gonna replace you with Tim. Tim's coming back, and yeah. we can't exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then not only that, like when we do have someone with melanin, uh, they're only allowed to be a guest. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's oh not God! Permanent. This whole like, even though it's music, <laughs> it just makes me so sick. <laughs> Okay, so as I continue, we're in America, fuck, so we're fine. <laughs> as I continue to fuck up, Liv will be talking about what they are working on right now. Hi, I'm Liv. Um, you're the cutest girl on the internet that you know, cryptid connoisseur. Um, I use she/they pronouns. Um, I will be playing Alma, who is our changeling witch, who. You know, she's fine. I mean, what happens when somebody's entire family just abandons them? You you keep going. <laughs> you keep moving on because that's yeah, far too relatable. It's easy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can I'm I'm kinda like Drac. I do a bunch of things. I'm all over the internet. I hang out on a lot of uh channels that are friends of Q Times, like Rule of Lore and uh my god. I almost said critical role. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> but you would only be a guest. You would only be a guest. You would only be a guest. <laughs> I think we just established they. <laughs> I don't think we're friends. Um, <laughs> no, they uh, might do uh, a side campaign where you can. GM, what a time to announce that, honestly. Yeah, wow. Well, uh, really no, I will probably never be on Critical Role. Um, but I am on Total Party Chill. And you can find my schedule when I tweet it over on Twitter at Live in a Day. I'm live. It's my day. I'm living it. See, this this is what's great. Uh, is Drac told all lies but two things, and Liv told all truths. So, like, it's it's just magical how different you. One of are. us lies, and one of us tells the truth. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, to, and we do one hundred percent look exactly alike. So it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, you can't tell the difference. So <laughs> Honestly, yeah. there is a door. No. Drac stands one side, <laughs> one, side the other. one lie, the other and the other tells <sighs> truths. All Is right, this gonna now, be the kind of day that we're gonna? <laughs> look, look, <laughs> yeah. Do you know what kind of energy I'm bringing here? Chaos. All right, and and Love to it. fulfill my chaos, I, I a very special guest who is uh, where's my hands? It is over here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> which is Haley. <laughs> Hi. I'm Haley. I am one half of a Twitch stream called Party of Two, where my husband and I play a duet game of, par of Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Uh, we play on Fridays, and we are actually about to celebrate our one-year anniversary of streaming on this coming Aww. Friday. So in a week. It's really Congrats. fun. We're doing, we're doing a charity stream on our channel, which is just Party of Two RPG. Um, so if you want to come and hang out, fun on friday at literally the exact same time so jump from this show to my show so this is this is how it works it's perfect <laughs> so all you do is you 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 open multiple tabs one with us and one with them and then just listen to the one you want but both of us get the views see that's how it works or listen to them mm, both the strongest the person story. listens to both yeah okay <laughs> so just emerge the story so that's what I'm about to say take both stories put them together and then let now us know kids. what you come up with that's beautiful it's a I do love adventure type deal I do love the idea I I will be honest I don't know what kind of plot but I do love the idea of like this loving incredibly creative like just having the time of their lives couple living their lives in the same world <laughs> where we're just yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Again, Meanwhile, all about just balance. <laughs> it's just like, it's, it's the same energy as like, you're trying to have a nice dinner, but there's a fucking group of like, <laughs> musical theater <laughs> high school nerds just And they're singing Lion King. The mm -hmm. <laughs> it's almost the same they vibe still as like, think they're on trying stage. to stream I and then there's like a concert right attacked. outside your, ha your apartment. You like, it's, <laughs> it, it's, it's every Denny's everywhere all the time. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> not Denny's. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I, but I don't think I can talk about my character, so. Well, uh, what we can talk about because uh, other people don't know it, which is your character's name is Ezra. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. I like that. that was that was no okay. Clue. Okay, the Jake <laughs> asked me, "What do you want to name your character?" And I had zero, zero influence. Zero. And I did not. 
I just, the first name that popped in my head was Ezra. And I was like, oh, that's a nice name. I'm and so I put off. it in and your, your response was, ha, ha, ha. I love it. And I was like, why is he laughing? Poo, curse, poo, curse, poo, curse, poo, curse. Oh, yeah, that's also it. The other curses pun of ours. We all have four letter names. Uh-huh. I should have named myself and now you also Lena. Do as well. Oh my gosh, that's true. <laughs> it is the yeah. it is as the jam. It's the fucking worst thing in the world. Like <laughs> the only the names, only person that broke the a. curse was uh, Malvolio. Ten out of ten name. Yeah. But then nobody. Can, and then I messed. Other people could say your name. I messed up your name every time I said every it. single so time. It was every new. their name was just. <laughs> It was a new name. I mean, so, that's why we limit it to four characters. Exactly. We can't handle any more, okay? <laughs> literally, like, literally and then, we can't, look, we can't do math, we can't comprehend our spells, and we can't uh, count more than four letters. Look, not, if, not calling me what do you want, again. Emma? Your... What do you want? So, <laughs> I, I am! Last you think week. it's easy? The allegations are false! You think okay. it's easy being a rogue? Literally every every time during that episode with Malvolia, I would look over at the screen that has the overlay to read the word. I'd be like, and <laughs> Malvolia, you... <laughs> if you go back, if you go back, I I guarantee you, know, you just text to speech. You just hit a button when you need to say a name. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. Now that all of them have gone through their announcements, uh, I'm going to announce a couple things. We just announced at 6 p.m. our next giveaway that we are doing, which is we are giving away two booster packs for 1985 games, which we are giving away uh, the um, NPC pack, which you can uh, crack this open and read out some NPCs that might be helpful to your group as a GM. Uh, this is just none of this is like stat stuff. It's just like interesting ideas for characters. So as a GM, you're like, uh, oh, uh, instead of having Stumpy the Stump show up or Gobbo the Goblin, you've got a list of NPCs that you can pull from. The other giveaway that we're doing is the Hell Pack, uh, uh, which you know uh, me and valk are in love with Mm -hmm. but but here's the thing that we have not announced is we're also going to be doing a discord giveaway so if you are a member of our discord we're going to be doing a giveaway at the end of the month for our third pack which is the gear pack so uh if you are not in our discord you should absolutely join it uh so that you can get in on that and then uh also on twitter uh is where we're doing our giveaway so check those two things out um uh other things that we've got going on if you would like to help the cast of this party uh um maintain some sort of financial stability in this horrible time we uh we actually have uh, a couple goals set up um and 100 percent of that money goes to the cast and uh each level that we hit the uh the group gets a different thing so the first uh first one everyone gets a or the group gets a a deadly d10 right now they currently have two of those that they have not used um but uh if they get a third d10 they can use that on any roll whether it be a skill check to hit something uh hell i'll even throw it on the damage if they really want to um oh uh, yeah everyone's like oh I'm going to start using that more often. (laughs) Um, Yeah. So we got that. If we hit uh, the second tier, there is a mysterious item. They have received the mysterious item one time, which is they are able to uh, affix a rune onto an item and then they're able to retrieve it uh, magically, no matter where it is in the plane of existence, but they have to put it on an item first to do that. And if we hit the third tier, we're, we'll, we will do a live uh, Die Hard Dice giveaway right here on the channel during the episode. So if we hit all three of those, that's what will happen. Um, as for things I'm doing, not only do I have this, but uh, tomorrow night, speaking of Maldovia, uh, I'm actually going to be on their channel tomorrow night. Maldovia. <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> isn't that a country? <laughs> <laughs> do you, hold on, hold on. Do it again. Do it again, but I'll do your text to speech for the name. Okay. <laughs> I was sitting here like Maldonia. I don't think that's it. Think that's it. <laughs> you ready? Ready? It's uh, uh, speaking of Malvolia. Uh, I'm actually going to be on their channel. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm going to be p- playing a uh, beefy barbarian boy, uh, which I'm very excited about. Uh, so uh, before the show, uh, Hanley and I were talking uh, and I said, look, when I have guests on the show, uh, because my brain does not work right, I go between one of two things, which is here's a three page historical uh, information about the character or, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. I need to send them stuff. I need to send them stuff. Uh, and Haley then says, were you supposed to send me something? I was like, yeah, you were the oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, good thing I'm trained in theater. <laughs> I was literally like, ah, oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, Listen, I'm actually. If you need anything, I have the thing that you need. Do you want me to just send it? <laughs> no, I already said it. I already said it. Okay. <laughs> but uh, um, um, yes, so I'm going to be over on their channel tomorrow, uh, which I just posted it up on um, on on Twitch right now. But uh, what's really interesting is it's a D&D game um, set like now. Like post apoc actually it's it's a DD game set post apocalyptic world cool. California. That is cool. Yeah. So now. Cool. Yeah, so now, yeah. <laughs> yeah the only the difference thing. between this and and real life is we still have to have a day job. So um <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh so why don't we get into the show right now? Parliament of Owls is an all-evil campaign that may touch on sensitive topics. Viewer discretion is advised. As we left off last episode, you had just dealt with these deer-headed, well, I should say uh, deer-horned foes who um, just kind of went off. After seeing some of them die, their 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 bodies just kind of went into the sky, levitated by themselves. And the ghost in which you had, uh, I wouldn't say saved, but you know, you bumped into, pointed you up the mountain to where you believe a mountain hag to be, which is kind of your goal, right? Is to go up there to deliver this letter. Here's the question, though. Drac, can you roll me just a flat D20? I forgot about that. <laughs> Ooh, should I do my portent roll? Um, oh, no. So, I think I jinxed my die. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. yeah, there it is! Because I rolled Thomas, on that one. Thomas, kiss for you! Oh. You rolled a one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. So, Imra, as, uh-huh. as you see this ghost point up the mountain, you remember that the reason you were going to go see them was because you had a letter that you were supposed to drop off that was in the bag that you burned. Ooh, okay. Okay. So the 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 four of you are standing at the not the base of the mountain, but the the base of another a crest of a mountain. Uh, still snowing. The building behind you in fire. What would you all like to do? We should probably get going. This, yeah, this can't be good. We should go. Yeah. Lenny, you gonna say something? You look like you were about to yeah. say. <laughs> it's not important, but I think Lenny was still on the ground, kind of, and pushed herself up, and just grabs like a pile of snow and kind of like wipes and <laughs> washes off like the blood of the guy that was like on her. Mm-hmm. <sighs> we should go. 
Yeah, are you okay? That's not my blood. Okay. The four of you start trekking up the mountain. Can you please roll me a survival roll to make it through this snowy uphill mountain full of treacherous and rough terrain? Um, you know what? Let me double check something. Um, I'm going to use one of my three astrologies because Ooh. Ooh, okay. I'm so fucking tired of this shit. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's gonna be one d8. Oh, god, no, while you roll this and you're you all are trying are calculating this, Ezra, you get a pitter patter outside of your your hut as one of your leshies squeezes in through one of the cracks and pops pops in and goes, ah, 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 ah. What toad? What do you need? fire there are many things that can be on fire is there a fire now yes house on fire outside oh. okay uh get get thing one and thing two and um gather my things uh oh, okay okay and 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 he just starts waddling and then he squeezes right through the the crack to go get the other two I'm going to wander around my little hut for a moment and pick up the little things that I need. Do you want me to describe what she looks like? Yes, absolutely. Okay. She has the most beautiful, amazing aura, but she is four foot two and she has straight black hair that's kind of moves and sways against her shoulders. She dresses very, very nice and pristine for a hag. All of the clothing is woven from the nature around the, the hut. And uh, she frequently has to change her clothing because it will break down. And she believes in using resources around her. Uh, she likes to... Uh, kind of order her leshies around, but it's her and her little troop of leshies that are big to toadstool mushrooms with the big heads and this cute little beady eyes and small little tiny mouths. That's as you job. as you grab your things, uh, the door swings open as the three toadstools are standing on top of each other and they reach the handle to open the door. Uh, and then they quickly bloop, 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 jump off of each other and go, mm, uh, there's also people. What kind of people? The bad people or the good people? Ma, no, not, not these people. Okay. Probably the good people. All right. Hut, hut. And she opens up her little bag to get them to come in and they understand the, the mm -hmm. and they just go whoop, 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 right in and she ties the little top and she, you see three little sets of eyes looking up at her and she kind of pets the bag a little bit. She's like, it's going to be okay. We'll go get the people and save them from themselves. And uh, she leaves. And yeah, they, they literally, they, they hop in and just kind of like get into the bag and just let you take them away. As you step outside, you see the pillar of smoke coming from what you perceive to be the the encampment in which this fanatical group had been staying at. The few times you had adventured down there, you were quickly fought off. Not so much that you got into an actual fight or altercation, but more of there was too much danger and you could not handle them alone. So you have spent most of your time overseeing and watching them. And that's really what your little toadstools have been doing a lot is just keeping an eye on them. And so as you step out, you see this pillar of smoke coming from this land and it's kind of confusing of why, 
why would why would their buildings be on fire? Toad, and I open up my bag a little bit. Was there a fight? Uh, yes. Great. Okay, thank you. She closes the bag again, kind of squares her shoulders, and her small little legs begin to move as quickly as she can, uh, while at the same time flipping through her mind what spells she could use to douse the fire because fire is bad in a forest and she doesn't want any more damage done to this beautiful place that she is the guardian of um, and just heads towards the smoke. You start heading towards the smoke and that's where we're going to switch over. What was everyone's, sur uh, their, their survival role? 15. 25. Oh, did you did you do mm. that badly? <laughs> Not that badly, but it's bad enough that I can count it without the calculator. I got a tw <laughs> I got a twelve. That's not bad. Okay, I mean, okay. rogue, it really is. <laughs> I got a eleven. <gasps> Good besties. <laughs> besties I, listen we put we we i did a lot <laughs> look right. we were standing there on the edge of the fight doing shit together where we were just as fucked <laughs> did you need did you want mine one for me too jake oh no you you are okay. literally i i made it so that mountains were were definitely your like Hangout zone. You're Dang. good up at. I figured, but it was a natural twenty. So. Oh well, I mean, I mean, you <laughs> okay. could have just saved that for the next roll that you're gonna do. <laughs> just gonna please be our friend. I'm like it was, just, it was trying to flex. Just at this like point. you know. <laughs> um, so you you start heading down the mountain while the four of you, two of you are 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 easily kind of getting up the hill and up the mountain. Well, the other two, uh, both Alma and Mara, you both are slipping like the snow. You're getting stuck in the snow and you're having to pull your leg out and it's slowing you down very, very much. I hate snow. I'm I hate snow. Why this could mountain? this not be I'm hellfire? So tired of no, this fucking I mountain. She's just, you see how she up. Starts, she starts like you know what <laughs> Lenny's like way ahead and like you see like she's having fun like going up <laughs> in the snow like, yeah I just realized I think I need to look at some uh, Eastern European swear words for these moments Gavla <laughs> hello oh Gavla I can't remember how to say fucking hell that was what that was what I remember <laughs> No, that's a positive for Mara. That's a Yavla positive. Helvet. Yavla, Yavla Helvet is you know Swedish that? for uh, Swedish Because he, he grew up in a country where they actually teach you things. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. I just taught myself how this. How fucking I dare fun. you? I speak part Japanese, okay? I'm getting there. You also live in a country where they teach you things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> so I hate snow as much as Anakin Skywalker hates sand is what I'm getting at here. It gets everywhere. It's <laughs> gritty. Horse. And <laughs> Listen, I'm no, I'm going to save that story for break. Okay. <laughs> it's a break okay. story. All right. Oh, Ooh. damn. Okay. It's not uh, that bad. I just, we're all like, the energy needs to be focused. Yeah, we today. Focus. Yep. Yep. I yep. told you we're not getting anything done today. So you all see that both Mara and Alma are, are really struggling to get up the hill. Um, in fact, it, you, you all keep moving forward and having to stop and wait for them to catch up. Like, because you know that the snow and, and how bad it's starting to come down, that if, if you let any amount of distance really push between the two, the two groups, you will get lost. I would like so. Which one of you have like the lowest survival? It'd probably be you, right? Okay. I, um, I have. I first need to ask: Could they do a reroll? Because I want to use a, a focus I have to help their roll potentially. I was okay. about to say I'm not much better. I'm a three, so it's okay. much of a muchness, really. 
Can um, Lenny go and try to piggyback whichever one Imra's yeah, not Imra's, trying to I help? Imra is decidedly like... Um, I would love I think to Mara see you try and this. Imra is something still kind of tiefling. pissed off with Mara. <laughs> yeah. Because um, she dared to lay hands on him. Um, so he's going to help... Um, armor and you just hear like again around him you kind of hear whispers and under his like bandages you kind of see them moving and twitching you can assume that the mouths are long as arms and torso are whispering um demonic things you're not entirely sure but over just over the whisper you hear him speak um can you please hurry up armor and i would like to use diabolic edict and that basically means um you issue an edict demanding the target to perform a particular task um, and offering a reward for its performance, it gains a plus one status um, to any skill checks related to it. Um, it's so pretty, It's pretty much the Dom command. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? Like, I wasn't going to say it. I wasn't going to say it, but... Not, even, I not will. even because of brat energy, which I don't necessarily think Alma's a brat no. now that I'm sitting here and no. like thinking about it. But there is this big part of me that wants to be like, no! <laughs> <laughs> is that the you part or the all in character? Part? In character. Part. I mean, you can reject it. It has to be a willing creature, so you can just reject it and not get the bonus. Just like a dog would. <laughs> and just not the bonus. So. Utterly losing it on a molecular <laughs> level right now. Now I'm um, really happy you hate Mara right now. <laughs> all my hates. <laughs> <laughs> he his his creepy mouth arms went all bleh, all over her creepy tendrils. Like I'm Mara ain't happy either. You slapped Imra. <laughs> I mean, it was fun. <laughs> There's a lot with all of those words. Uh can I was gonna say the same. Can can Alma Slip and Mara context, can you please. both uh roll your your new survival checks? Okay. Is it both of us or just Alma? Uh, you both go. I mean, you both are failing, and I assume you both are going to make attempts to continue because those, Lenny uh, said that uh, she wants to help out. Which uh, Lenny, please also roll a survival check. Did okay. Can somebody please remind me? I I didn't use my portent roll last week. Did I? No, but no. you get one today. Okay. Okay. I'm rolling I my can... port and roll right now. <gasps> what happened? Fuck, it's it's so good. <laughs> I finally had a good port and that roll. That was a good noise? Yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, yay. <laughs> I'm dramatic. It's fun, okay? You don't watch me if I wasn't dramatic. Okay. Um, oh, baby, I'd watch you anyway. My... I'm not going to use my port and roll right now. I'm not going to use my port and roll right now, but... I am going to use another of my two fucking astrologies. Jesus, and that bad again? God damn it. God damn it. It only gets me to a 12. Even yeah. with the bonus, you have a plus <laughs> one? Ooh. I have a plus two, and then I rolled a six, which means I get another two, but I rolled an eight. We're going to die here. I, my my diabolic edit gives you a plus one, an extra plus oh, one. Oh, an extra plus one. Okay, so then I got 13. I don't know if that's helpful at all, if that changes anything. No. No. DC is, so low. The, the DC so low. is 15. You're so close. There's only so much I can do. Uh, you see, like, you definitely see, like, as Imra, Imra um, speaks, you see, like, um almost like a dark red slash, like, kind of so dark red that it's almost black mess, mm -hmm. like, leave his mouth. And tried to wrap his arm around um, Armor's arms and legs to like bolster their movement. But there's only so much you can do. <laughs> yeah, like literally in my mind, it's like it sweeps around and it like pushes her, but it pushes her so hard she just lands in the <laughs> snow. Oh. So hold on, hold on. I will I will offer uh so Lenny assisted um Mara. Mara, what did you roll on your DC? I rolled a 12, but my thing is plus three, so I got a 15. <gasps> and, and and Lenny, what did you roll? I got a twenty-one. Okay, so that's going to give you a plus two to your to your roll. So you got a seventeen in total, which is beats the fifteen DC. Uh, uh, Alma, you had a thirteen mm -hmm. by the end of the bonuses. Yep. 
Uh, does Imra want to physically also assist, not just use a I... spell? <laughs> I don't even know if it's a matter Ten, of no, 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 it's to or whether he physically can. He's not the strongest person in the group. It's not. It's um, not a strength check. It's going to be another survival check. Oh, I'm not risking that. I have a plus zero in my survival. I just was lucky and rolled gold. <laughs> uh, I'm not risking that. <laughs> Everyone's like, I'm, like, doing I'm the just best lucky I can ever been that. I'm doing the best I can as it is. Have helping someone else physically impossible. Actually, yeah. You know what? You know what? Fine. I'll yeah. Go. No. Alma, no. Alma no. 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 Because there. all that. I mean. No. 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 You're fine. You're fine. You don't have to. No. no don't I, feel think, I think. I think is hating it. Just letting gonna have to carry all of you in the snow. Alma just lays there and he's like, you know what? No. You know what? No. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, this is, up. This the is longer exactly you stay here, the longer wanted. I have to stay here. This I'm... is what my sisters wanted. They wanted me to die in the snow. I, I abandoned them and our cause. <laughs> I rolled an 18. Imra's like, the longer that she stays here, the longer I have to be here. So I'm going to go back and help. Them. Okay, so with, with an 18, that does give uh, Alma an, an additional plus two, uh, which brings you to exactly 15. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay, so you're able to be like, look, all you have to do is just like stick your foot in and wiggle it a little bit. It's just like the, the dumbest little hint before, and then you lift your foot up, and almost just like the words "fuck you" weren't strong enough. You know what I mean? But <laughs> it is enough to assistance to help Alma push forward and start moving forward and 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 going up the mountain. That's about the time that Ezra, you you can hear them bickering. You can hear them arguing. You know that they're oh this is God. this is bare minimum a, an adventuring party. You for sure know that this is not a part of this this cult that's down there. Toddy. Oh, it's not that if I'm getting through this, you can get through this, okay? I'm gonna open up my bag and say, go, go, just go look. Just go look. And I'm going to send him off to go just kind of investigate, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to. Yeah. Because I want to know what, what's coming up the mountainside. Okay. And if I need to be prepared to to snap, like bring the smack down on some people. <laughs> are you going to are you going to have one of your leshies do this? Yeah, so I'm gonna have Toadie go. Okay. Uh Toady pops out and just kind of like bloop, and like sinks into the snow, and then it's just like <clears throat> <laughs> and then as soon as he lifts himself, he plops on his side and he starts to sink a little bit. <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. And almost like somebody with their cat, I'm just gonna reach down and grab Toadie and Put him back up and brush all of the snow off and go back in there. It's fine. And I'm I'm going to very cautiously begin to approach these individuals who are fighting with each other in the middle of my forest that is on fire. <laughs> uh, you start moving forward. Roll me a perception check. Uh, that is a 19 plus 16. So somewhere in the top 30s. 19 yeah. plus 16. <laughs> Sorry, I'll grab my calculator. <laughs> no, no, you're good. Um, yeah, uh, you, 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 you can easily see that this is four individuals uh, fighting with the snow, and they're less fighting directly with each other and more fighting over the fact that they're stuck in snow and that they're trying to get away from whatever's going on. All right. Deeming them not a threat. I am going to approach them and just kind of watch for a moment and see if they are as perceptive as most creatures who climb my mountain are. Lenny at this point is facing Mara and like kind of has her hands on her shoulders and goes, it's just snow. Just fucking it's step. Fucking you go. just step. You take you a not step. Understand. Yeah, it's still just walking. Oh, it's walking. Like her, her tail oh, is like fuck. up and around her neck to try and stay warm. She's like <laughs> fucking cold. And oh, like she probably really like smacks just you in the head a little. <laughs> as, as you're arguing, you in, in the middle of the trail, you see Ezra. You see this woman standing in the center of the trail, just kind of like watching you. Do you see that? 
Yes. Do we? What? Do I get any sort of? Probably not because she's not one of my sisters now, huh? Roll, you can roll me in a cult. Yeah, I will. Oh, sure. When I say that all oh, witches, you know, witchy. <laughs> Y'all, we are on a roller coaster. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Lenny has yeah. disappeared from my vision. <laughs> God, I'm so blessed with my occultism. Um, that's going to be an 11. I got a 2. Or no, a 13. I got a 2 plus an 11. So that's a 13. <laughs> Which is a lucky number for somebody spooky. I, I will say you, you have no uh, connection. But uh, mm -hmm. you do know that there is a, a mountain hag that's up on the mountain. And you're heading in the direction. So like simple deduction would get like yeah this is probably the person we're looking for but so like it wasn't the occult role it was common sense <laughs> <laughs> your passive common sense is just enough so i'll give you i should have died in that fire <laughs> fuck this shit <laughs> Yeah, you Hello. Better. Hello. Um, Hi. What are you doing on hag. my mountain? You're the oh, hag. Yours. Oh, yeah. Just to meet you. Uh, uh, just, yeah. I am Imra, and these are my followers. No. Oh, don't no? you fucking start that. No. And you are hag. I don't think that's her. I name. am Hag. Well, Mountain Hag, whatever you want to be. Do you have Mara, a name besides Mara Hag? Of, Mara sort of <laughs> muscles <laughs> that last <laughs> bit. She's just like, apologies. Some of us aren't good with manners. My name is Mara. What is yours? Apologies for starting fires on your mountains. Yes, you did start a fire on my mountain, didn't you? To be fair, it was self-defense. For good reason. Now, are you going to take care of that fire or not? Um. Uh, snow should do it, right? Forest fires are natural. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it'll burn down all the people that were, you know, in that encampment. So that's a win. That is what we call wishful thinking. Okay. I would like to try something. Okay. <clears throat> is the fire contained to a specific building? Yes. Okay. If the GM would allow, Ezra is going to kind of walk towards the building and seeing that it is encapsulated in one building and one building alone... Mm -hmm. she is going to cast wall of ice okay to create kind of like a semicircle to contain the fire so that it doesn't spread so it is kind of a distance away so oh, okay yeah it, it, it like they had been walking for a little while so it it's roll me a okay roll me in nature roll me in nature okay Oh, that's just a sad number. 22. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was a two. <laughs> it was a two. But I, I was like, like 20. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it was very generous with my character. Enough. <laughs> so what I'm hearing is that we shouldn't fight Ezra. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I hear nothing. Jake, I, I I really like having high modifiers. You remember when I had high modifiers? Jake? Yeah, I remember. I remember when that. I happened. remember when I had. I high remember modifiers. what happened. Oh yeah, that's right. You got you got slapped back down to a little. Uh, <laughs> oh. See, I do the opposite. So. <laughs> yeah. you do, this yeah. is why we get along. <laughs> so with your twenty-two. You can see that the snow is, in fact, keeping it from spreading. And the fact is, is that that church had cleared out the area from with trees. Oh, so there's like a break line. 
Yeah, it it, okay. it does not look like it's going to spread. If it spreads, it's going to spread to the other buildings, but it looks like they, at least with your uh, amazing perception from earlier, you can tell that there are still people down there. So um, it's not... It's it's not going to spread. It's not a, it's not a worry anymore. It's more of a worry that uh, did they just did they just kick the hornet's nest? You know what I mean? Okay. Well, figuring that out, we're going to retcon me casting Jack Diddley Squat. Um, I'm just going to look at the four of you. Did you did you manage to kill any of them? I just point at um, kind of <laughs> where Lenny. I mean, I, think I got him pretty good. I think they killed themselves. Uh, have you ever I seen think... a, a body fly Stop. up into the clouds and then just yeah. disperse into white light? Yeah, that's but they were dead. Is that dead? Oh, we also, I feel do feel like we're missing uh, another key thing. Um, they are specifically trying to come after you, from what I understand. I think yes. Um, yes. Mara told me that. And they seem to have believed they have enough power to do that. So Something the enemies that we've fought recently might become ritual. your enemies. Yeah. So they... Oh, no. And she's going to just turn around and start kind of going back as fast as she can to the hut. Oh, could you um, hold... It's, okay. It's, excuse me? I'm just gonna and she's going to shout over laughter. her shoulder, come on! <laughs> I'm going to try and tell you. <laughs> Alma, just looks at the, Alma just stares at the snow, and I think just, like, rather than stepping, tries to, like, that's the fastest way she's going to be able to do it. Can, like, let me try to, to grab the hand of Alma and Mara and just, like, start stomping forward. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Imran just has real like legless fires where it's like he's oddly light. No, we, no, we didn't realize he was very light. He doesn't really imprint into the snow that much, so just able to um, hurry after as well. He's Jesus walking. In the snow. <laughs> Jesus walking. <in> the snow. <laughs> <laughs> so are they still? Are are Alma and um, Ma Mara? Yeah, they, yes, they're, okay. names, they're just yeah. are they still Sorry. struggling? They they are they are they are I... able to accomplish moving forward, uh, but they are definitely not it's not the easiest thing in the world for them. Being dragged. Mara's from <laughs> hell. She is not having a good time. So almost the same. I'm gonna say this right now. <laughs> you you all are able to make it up the mountain. Uh, oh, it, I it, was gonna do something cool. Wait, well, go it. for it. Go yes. for it. I'm okay, seeing that the two of them are having such a hard time. I'm going to turn and just extend a hand out and cast Tanglefoot and wrap it around their waists to try and pull them along because we need to get to the hut <laughs> now. You all, you all get pulled up and, and and trudge up to what you can see as the hut that. Ezra, uh, well, Haley described earlier. And because tonight is a weird night, we're actually going to be taking our break right now. So uh, <laughs> be back shortly. I'm sorry, everyone. We'll be back in about 10 minutes. See you soon. The, Liv, the reason why you are okay with Ezra being here is because that Bay was just in love with my character. And so you're not even <laughs> thinking about Ezra. <laughs> I can promise you that is not the case. <laughs> Absolutely Look, not. Where's Morgan? <laughs> um, Morgan is, uh, you know where Morgan's at. More, you can, you can, you can uh, hang out with Morgan in uh, my dorm room. Um, <laughs> what stream am I on right now? I'm like, yeah. did, did did we just move to East Texas University? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh, come on, that's anyway. exactly that's exactly the vibe, <laughs> but with monsters. Check that out on so, front of the so, channel. Guilty. So, so East Texas. Anyways, uh, so <laughs> you or, all yeah. you all make it to Ezra's hut. Uh, some of you a little worse for wear, but you all make it here. As soon as we get there, I I release the the tangle foot and the vines just kind of. <laughs> back into me and I go inside the hut to check and make sure that everything is okay because they just scared me really bad. 
Mara the... dead set looks disappointed for a second. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Is there Mara... like a warm spot of this hut? Like a warm looking spot of this hut? Is there like a fireplace or? Yes, and and Ezra's going to like kind of left you out there, but uh, Jake, is everything okay in the hut? Yes. Is yes, nothing has moved. They okay. have not. They have not moved to the hut. <sighs> okay, okay, right, right, okay. So I'm going to turn around after checking everything. Open the door and say, "Come in, come in. Okay, You're all you. going to cool. die in the cold. Come in." I don't think I'm too worried about dying. Um, yeah, Emma <sighs> walk in. Yes, yes. And uh, and you little cold, it there sit, yes. And she's going to turn around and start putzing at um, kind of the open cabinets. It's kind of like just a large open room. Um, so she's going to kind of start pulling things down and looks like she's making tea. Lenny pops a squat and just starts like stretching, <laughs> like in front of the fire. Just like. Ugh. Is this hut also short because of the occupant or? Oh no. my God. Okay, cool. Thank you. How, approximately how, how tall are you? Because She's four foot two. Yeah. Okay. So everything is short, but the hut itself is still normal size. I, I feel like Mara's still a bit because her horns still go up a fair bit. So she's just like, <laughs> just Tilting. a little bit. Fuck off, cat! With your fucking. <laughs> all right. Not cat. I was tracked. <laughs> <laughs> so who are you all? Why are you on my mountain? Yes. Um. I'm Imra. Um. Imra Adeles. I guess I'll let the others introduce themselves. I'm almost Sue. Um. And. We are on what I am now convinced is a foolish errand. Ezra, when you hear Alma speaking, you look to her and you start to pay attention. You start to really pay attention for the first time of these individuals before you had seen them as adventurers. But you're seeing Alma and you immediately know that she's a witch. She's going to smile at you. And what brings you to my mountain? Alma, like, God. You see Alma, like, open her mouth to start to open. Or not to open, to speak. Good God, I can't even speak. She opens her mouth to, like, start to speak and explain herself. And then just, like, this kind of... Just the look of exhaustion crashes over her. And just... Uh, I don't even really know my reason anymore. Okay. Okay. Um, she's, I was just going to set the little tea things down that she was kind of messing with. And she's just going to come over and give Alma a hug. And her head's probably going to hit just like her sternum yeah. area. And just like this sweet little hug, but you feel the motherly, nurturing, gentle love kind of just holding you for a minute. Lenny Jeez, looks take a back from the fire and sees you doing that and goes, and turns to Mara and goes, she's really going through that shit. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, no, I mean, oh my god. Yeah, no, I do think Alma, like, would actually kind of genuinely start to cry, because I don't think she's been around another, like, witch or hag, and especially not one with, like, a mothering presence since she was a child herself, so. Yeah. I just, just kind of... Ezra's just going to back up just a little bit, still kind of like holding you around the waist and looking up at your face and just says, go sit down. I will bring you tea. And she turns to the rest of you and says, same for you as well. And then she's going to go continue making tea. 
Uh, Alma definitely wipes her face before she goes and sits. <laughs> She's not stupid. <laughs> I want to. I want to roll to see if I see her crying. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna roll a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> go and Lenny's it. turning to Mara and go. Remember the last time we had tea? <laughs> Don't remind me. That's a good point. Uh, you put all the leaves. I think having an ability for this for people lying to me. It's you have cold. lied to me. Lie to me. <laughs> I think you have lied to me. I think so. I need to. I'm trying to find. If you have lied to me, it means that you use your deception to determine whether someone's lying to you or not. Okay, let me just see if I have that. Uh, da, 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 da. I want to point out as well. No, I don't. I don't. Mara's been like checking out everything that's in here while staying close to the fire with Lenny, and like any shiny thing, she's just like tapping with her nails. <laughs> I rolled a nat twenty. Uh, is still happy. So that's a 27 for perception. I rolled a 13. I rolled a natural 2. <laughs> you yeah, were doing you, really well with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been yeah. rolling with different dice each time. <laughs> no. Uh, where's yeah. your spell and I bowl? You need to start chucking them across the room. Uh, you holy never hell. Go yeah, say new dice. dice. The whole bag is dice. dice. <laughs> yeah, Imra, it's like instantaneous. You can tell. Like, it's like blood in the water. I yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. no. They're shocked now. Um, I Imra just like looks to um Alma and I think if if I don't know if the others have noticed, but I think he would step in front of Alma to uh, like cover her up because she seemed desperate to hide it so he, he will at the very least help hide <laughs> hide her crying from the others um he doesn't make icon he doesn't even look at her he just looks away and the steps in front um and wait <laughs> <Who's this person? laughs> we you get you hungry but team. fuck <laughs> yeah. i think i am the closest thing to a human too so yeah <laughs> <laughs> Like I can't let others sense weakness. They might kill her before I've drank from her. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Ezra no, is just finally having to stand in front. As, as Ezra is continuing to kind of make tea, and she's starting to pour the water and letting it seep and whatnot, she kind of hollers. Well, doesn't need to holler, but she kind of says over her shoulder as she's doing this. Someone tell me why you're here. Yes. Um. Okay. This is me, Drac. I entirely forgot who gave us the letter. Um, oh, wow. okay, wait, can wait, I no, can no, I describe no. it for you okay. in character? Sure. Yes. Uh, creepy tabaxi dude down the mountain gave us something to give to you. Letter. <clears throat> and and you know this to be Asahar, the leader of a uh, a group or an organization. It is another religious group, but they have uh, they have met peace with you. They are not trying to uh, do any harm to the mountain itself. In fact, uh, from what you can tell from them is their goal is to actually deal with more of the town and to try to try to deal with the fact that there is an ever encroaching city onto the mountain. So they're allies. Yep. Okay. Yes, I know Asahar, and you have a letter. Yes. I do not. About that. Um, the fire, it seems to have taken a letter along with it. Did you read the letter? No, it seemed it was personal, so I don't think any of us really read it. Well, it must have been important, considering he doesn't send me letters very often. I guess we better hope it's not. <clears throat> well, since you're all here, and she starts kind of holding the tea and putting it out to each of you, and she said, it's peppermint tea, it'll help warm you up, and it will wake up all your sinuses, it'll be wonderful, just drink it. Since you are here, would you like to take care of my little cult problem? Um... Sure. You've already done it halfway anyway. Yes. Um, again, that was more self-defense, but I guess we, we owe you for your hospitality, so. Yes. Wonderful. I'm going to clap my hands and say, Toad, thing one, thing two, come here. And and as you're saying that, you can hear them, like, 
kind of playing it sounds like and when you look to see the direction in which they're playing you can see the three of them playing with this small little furry creature that has gigantic eyeballs the (laughs) eyes are so large that its head has to physically turn for it to move and the four of them are just kind of like hopping around and playing with each other and like goofing around you can literally see the four of them like ah ah (laughs) And like kind of hopping around and like almost like they're playing tag, but like with no talking. Yeah. Ah. What are you doing? Don't be rude. And I like snap my fingers at him. <laughs> and then y- you see him like slowly crawling over, and then you see the other three going like Oh. They very rarely get to see other familiars. I don't come down from the mountain very often. I well, it's all right if they play. Just, Only you know, if you want to. There's just manners. And I like <laughs> glare at Caster, but then just nod. But if we're all going to be friends. And Caster literally just runs back. <laughs> <laughs> well, since they're occupied. Hmm. Are any of you hurt? No. A little Don't tired. feel great. <laughs> What? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Were you only coming on my mountain to deliver a message? Or were we you were... going through? We were going through. We have to go. It's a desert, right? Yeah, we have to cross pass into the desert. So, meaning we have desert. to go through the, the, the Fay Forest. The Fay Forest, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. We do. Why are you going to the desert? Well, there's a thing that we need to get. It's a seal of some kind. It is very important. Well, uh, if you're going to go through the mountain and going to go to the Fey Forest, you probably should be prepared. <clears throat> but first, we need to take care of the insidious cult that has taken over my forest. Imra, in the back of your head, you hear, I do love me a powerful woman. Imra just sighs, again, like sighs and holds his breath as he like cracks his fingers before releasing the breath and trying to act as, as casual as possible. Uh, you don't have to hide me. You know, you could just let me take over. Uh, he replies in his head, um, I'd rather not. I enjoy having control. Just let one powerful woman talk to another. We can get what we need and go. What will you say that I won't? Oh, you just wouldn't understand, child. Do I? No, I don't think. Imra, no. Imra just says, no. Like I said, I enjoy control. You feel the hairs on the back of your neck sticking up as you you say no. And go, fine, maybe some other time. And the voice goes quiet. Can Ezra sense some like type of duplicity with him? You very much see Imra stop speaking, like <laughs> crack his knuckles and just kind of like, like there was a moment where they were just kind of, they were, they weren't there, mm-hmm. you know, they weren't in the room with you physically. Yes. But they're mentally, they had stepped away. Would I have any idea what? is going on or just see that there's weirdness. You can can roll me a religion check or an occult check or an arcana. It's quite a few different options. I I would like to roll deception. It will mean nothing, but I'll do it anyway. All right, I'll I'll roll an arcana. While we're doing that, I'm assuming that uh, Lenny and Mara are sitting there with 
tea just going this is weird is this what having a mom's life <laughs> yeah <laughs> Lenny is and like, no, not a it's nothing no like idea she, it's and she like keeps yeah. going to like sip and she's like <laughs> alternatively you just see like alma with like the faintest little smile as she's like <laughs> there with her peppermint teacup and every now and then she glances over at caster and the toes <laughs> I got a 38. Yeah, like, oh, cool, cool. Well, I got a 32, but <laughs> with, with, with Arcana. With Arcana. Cursed, cursed, cursed. So um with Arcana, uh, I will say that there are many curses magically that uh people can have on them. Um, what I will say though is that with the Arcana, you know that this isn't you you very adamantly know that this is not an arcana thing and that more than likely it has to do with the fact that he might enjoy the taste of blood she's just gonna kind of look at him for a minute would you is there something wrong I think that's more a question to ask you. Um, well, considering the castle of my kingdom was burned down and caught in a battle, I suppose there is quite a bit wrong as far as concerned with me. But other than that, I'm fine. Where did you go just now? I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that. Oh, just tell her already. I'm sorry. Um, I was recently impaled by a deer. So um, excuse me if I'm a bit out of it. Oh, such a terrible liar. Tell her that you like to feed off the flesh of the living, that the power that it gives you, the fact that your mother controls your mind. He just doesn't say anything. He just stares and waits for a response. We've noticed that Emra has like been off, right? Oh, a thousand percent. The group that has been with Imra has no noticed that they have been a little bit more in their own head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From behind, Emra almost just like looks at Ezra and is just like. <laughs> and Ezra's like, oh, okay, got it. Oh my mm -hmm. god. <sighs> Vampire. You are welcome in my home until you are a problem. Do you understand? Yes, I had no intention of being a problem, and I didn't realize being a vampire would change that. I'm just letting you know. I haven't survived as long as I have on this mountain without being cautious, as it were. But she reaches out and kind of pats your hand and just says, you're, you're hiding something very hard. It's okay. And then she turns around and kind of goes back to her little sink. <laughs> Imra... Definitely when you like pet his hand, you definitely like notice there's like a tense tension in his arm as if he was about to like pull away. Um, and then he just quietly sips his tea. Do me a favor, uh, just because I think this is fun. Uh, uh, Ezra, please roll me a crafting check. Let's see how good this tea is. <laughs> it's damn good. That's how good it is. Hold on. Let me add the little numbers together. Because I can't math. Okay. 34. Yeah, it's phenomenal tea. It, it is it is great. It, it, it phenomenal. Like, it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. <laughs> my wife my wife isn't home, so I'm allowed Making to make it a comeback. <laughs> I'm, I'm allowed to say the word because she's not in the house anymore. So uh, <laughs> say it again, I but slower. <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, but that, that brought Menomina. 
Yeah. That's, yeah. Out. Yeah. So, that's where I always go. That's where I always go. <laughs> Y'all, we cannot afford this copyright. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> We're about True. to get YMCA. True. We can't do this. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You do you need do you mean do you I did it on purpose. I got you, I got you. Can't get me. Can't get you. Nice. <clears throat> Goodness. Right. So Ezra now has her own little cup of tea and she turns around and leans against the sink and says, So my problem down there, we need to get them gone. They are a problem and a nuisance to me and to everyone on this mountain. Um, are there many people on this mountain? No. It's mine. It's my mountain. So they're Just a nuisance you. to me. Okay. And my fae, they have killed many of them. Your fae? This is my mountain. They live in my forest. They are my fae. Do they know that? Do they, agree? they know they can come to me. They have problems. Do you... They need healing. Okay. So, so this whole mountain is protected by only you. You, you don't have like a coven or anybody else who works with you. Not for many years. Sad. I have I have my toads. Then thing one and thing two, and they keep me occupied. And of course, the mountain itself takes a lot of work. People don't realize how often you have to clear paths and take care of things that are hurting. Speaking and... of hurting. <laughs> are you... <laughs> Are you ill? And she'll she kind of comes over to you, and because she's so squat to the like, just kind of low to the ground. You're are you still on sitting? She's like she's like squatting by the fire, like stretching right. and like has the tea. Like she's <laughs> so so yeah, you're I'm basically talking. like head high yeah, with her she's right now. Like, she's pretty short already, but yeah, she's definitely like at your face. <laughs> okay. Do you need healing? Uh yeah, I think. Maybe some of that blood was mine. Oh. Not like um, a lot. Like, I'm pretty strong, so. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm not very adept at healing humans or humanoids or... I could try and help. I'll take it. I mean, does... Does tea help? Like, if I drink this, does it help? It makes it you like... feel better. <laughs> she just chugs the tea. <laughs> she's like, it's, oh, you're going to burn it oh. hot. And she's like, <clears throat> <clears throat> and it's kind of like dripping in her mouth. She's like, <clears throat> okay. So, mm. <laughs> so, can I do a medicine check to try and? Yeah, and you also have natural medicine, so you're gonna be. Oh, using I do. Your, yeah, you're gonna be using your nature check instead of your medicine check. Okay, I well then that's love much better. Lenny. Lenny might be my favorite character. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad. Uh, thirty-six. Thirty-six. We're good. Oh, just we're good. Oh, just. Oh, just. just. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So with uh, with uh, treat wounds, that is a critical success. So you're going to do four d eight. Okay. Of damage, you just punch Lenny in the face. <laughs> <laughs> the T did that heal. for. Don't worry. <laughs> how we heal Imra? <laughs> so fifteen. Perfect. Where does that leave you at, Lenny? Uh, let me do quick math, eh? Quick maths. I'm actually full, so I'm good. Nice. That filled me up, apparently. She, Ezra gives you a little squeeze on your shoulder, just like, mm -hmm. <sighs> As you're finishing up uh, and give Lenny a little squeeze, all of you hear a very familiar voice. Uh. 
Maha brothers and sisters, we are here to gathered to destroy and strike down those who have hurt our brethren and have here to destroy what we all stand for. And at this point, you all hear, I'm sorry, you all see through the cracks of the home lit torches surrounding the home. Okay. Well, you see Ezra go from this like very sweet, motherly, nurturing individual to like stone faced and almost like her her innate ability just kind of like ripples off of her body. And she just apparently they came to us. Are you ready? Yes, as ready as it will ever be, I suppose. Yes. Let's go. Good. And they're in a full circle around the hut, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mara sort of like turns to Lenny and like does a little bump to the shoulder and it's like you want to race? See how many you can do versus me? Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Oh okay. she like pops her knuckles. Oh, right. <laughs> Does Lenny pull out her weapon? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> that was not not immediately take out, out Mars dagger. Would I be able to cast a spell before initiative or are we gonna wait for initiative? There is no initiative as of yet. Okay, so um as um Lenny um pulls out their weapon, uh, it's a sickle, right? Switch sickle or something like that? Switch, switch scythe, yeah. Th switch mm -hmm. scythe. Um uh Imra's gonna like grab the blade of it and like cut his hand across it. I see the blood seep into it and now um, and cast magic weapon on it. Um, so there's a plus one striking weapon now. Um, and has a plus one to bonus um, to attack rolls. And the number of weapon damage dice bumps up to two. So whatever you roll, like 1d6, whatever it is, now 2d6. Um, Perfect. Um, I don't have anything as cool as that, but I will squeeze Mara on the shoulder and cast Forbidding Ward. So then you get a uh, plus one to your armor class and saving throws against the target's enemy attacks and other effects. So you just get a little plus one to a bunch of stuff. Or I say attacks. And, and saving throws against attacks. Yeah. Thank you. And spells. Yeah, as Emma does that, he was just to Lenny do some serious damage. I didn't want us to deal with them for longer than we have to. Bring them Money's... all to the front, Ezra says as she starts walking towards the front door. It's like, I need them in a group. Easy. <laughs> Got it. Should we go kick some asses? <sighs> yes. You got it. He's in like raised stance, like ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like you literally get down. Yeah, she, yeah. You, you, you use the toadstools as like the <laughs> Yeah, she's full out sprinter stuff. <laughs> she's like, she's gonna come out and I like Naruto. <laughs> okay. So Ezra is going to put her hands together and she mutters something under her breath. Um that is very akin to Latin. And she begins to prepare right before she opens the door, a gale blast to attack anyone that's in front of her. Okay. Um, at that, I would as say- As long as the GM says it's okay. Yeah, I, I would say at this point, um, we should roll initiative. Yeah. Oh, I can't do a surprise attack. No, I'm going to I'm going to give you your surprise attack. There's no <laughs> like like are you How's it? Describe to me again what you would like to do. Okay. I'm going to like burst the door open and as soon as the door's open send a gale blast directly at anything and anyone that is in front of the hut. Okay. I'm going to say yes, but I still want you to roll initiative so we know um the initiative so so we can do all of it in in a, in a row right yeah okay coolio 
Jake, what Mara. time of day would you say it is? <laughs> uh, I would say that it is uh, probably close to dawn. There would still be a lot of darkness, right? <laughs> There's still shadows. Okay. There's like forest and shadows and trees. Oh, you're good. <laughs> I rolled a 27. Okay. Please don't fuck me. Please don't fuck me. Bro, that shit didn't roll. It spun like a top. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I, can I? My can I? God. Can I preempt before like Initiative Mara is just like sinking into shadow for? <laughs> <laughs> what is Mara's initiative? I don't want to know. Oh no! I, I rolled a two. Oh, oh no! Why is it that number tonight? What's the total? But you have a plus anything? What, what is it? It's that thing. and perception. 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 Yeah. I'm, I'm blind as shit. <laughs> it wouldn't. Uh, um... <laughs> I have a whopping seven. So a total of seven? Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, Lenny, what do you got? Uh, 22. All right. Imra. I got a 26. Six. All right, Alma. Eighteen. All right. Let me just move some initiatives around. And that, um, that, that plus one from Alma doesn't count to uh, initiative. Hey, I don't think so. Um, oh, it's okay. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> you got your shadows. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Ezra, go ahead and uh, roll me your attack. Or or is it a saving throw? Everyone's like, how much damage is this? Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. Mountain mom. Mountain mom. <laughs> yeah. <right? laughs> Mountain mom's my favorite. Mom. My mom's dead, so I kind of need a new one. So. Same. <laughs> I don't Same. actually know who my mom is. So. Same. I mean, my I mom like might be fake. Just... So. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know. Bro, your mom's a test too, but I'm gonna just I'll tell you right you. now. I don't even know if any of my past is true. So <laughs> <laughs> I want to test you. <laughs> That's so I'm just saying we will find out next week when Blythe joins the cast for the week. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, how much damage you got, Ezra? Oh shit! I told you seventeen. Oh oh, I'm sorry. I did. I didn't know. I didn't hear. I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we're like sitting here. I was we're, like, I it's seventeen. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't realize you guys didn't hear me. I thought we were no, just hanging out. No, no, we were just we were just looking at your beautiful face. We were just, we were just enjoying. We can sit here for hours. This is fine. We were just thinking this of our qualities. You just have <laughs> You're gonna have to be careful because eventually they're gonna just start saying mommy. Sorry, mommy. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would like to say that that's never happened before, but I cannot. <laughs> hey, we're not the first. <laughs> You're my first as a group. <laughs> you, you 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 kick open the door and send this blast and you as this blast hits the person in the very front you can see it's the leader and it hits him right in the chest and and you see him immediately drop down to a knee after you hit him and he falls down flat to the ground oh that was easier than i expected it's never easier than we expect I mean, the last time they went down, they went back up. Yeah. yeah. The others move the torch closer to the home, and whatever wood is on it starts to catch. 
Don't you dare turn down. Don't. No. Uh, it is your turn again, Ezra. <gasps> okay. Um. <clears throat> are they too close together at all? Or are they like social distance so as you have kicked open the door you can see that there was the leader in the uh in the front there were three around him and then around the building there might be a total of four more uh you can only see two but you you can see the light behind the building so there's probably two more behind the building okay probably so the answer is trouble. three are close plus the plus the dead leader uh and then two more okay um, as, as the, ah, she's just going to shout, get your hands off my hut. And she's going to, um, slam her hands together and say, ice and cold now. And she shoots out a cone of cold. It's a 60 foot cone at the two in front. Okay. And that is 12 D six. Uh, it's a basic reflex saving throw. All right. So there's three in front of you again. So you're you're gonna. Oh, hit there's three. Oh, Sorry. So yeah, hit, those three. You're gonna hit three. Um. Well, that reflex was a th a six, so that's not gonna work. That one's a nine. And a, an eight. So I didn't roll above a ten on any of these rolls. So. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so not that's mommy, twelve. That's, that's twelve. <laughs> Don't mess with the mountain mama. Emma sees that and goes, "Okay." Oh, I'm pretty sure that's a. Oh no, it's a basic. <laughs> oh, it's a. But it's a critical success uh, or a critical failure on their part. Oh, oh, it is. Um, it I doesn't know. have a a critical fail. But it's a. It's a. It's a. Uh, um, so is it a double? It's a basic, right? Yeah. Yeah, so basic just means uh, half on success, critical success means none, full damage on failure, double damage on critical failure. So uh, they take double damage. We're not even going to be needed. This is great. I love this. <laughs> Best fight ever. <laughs> Ma so 44? Sees us as like 44 damage? Realizes 44 points of damage. Trauma. All right. <laughs> Uh, they are still standing. Okay. And that that's unless we're doing that as like a full turn. Well, yeah, so, this is a full turn, right? Yeah, I mean that I believe that spells two actions. It's two actions. So I have, so you one, have one more. more. Um I am going well, yeah, for my third action, I'm just going to come out in front and kind of be the spearhead. So for my last action, I'm just going to move forward so that the others can come out of the doorway. Okay. That brings us to Imra. Imra is not going to come out of the doorway. Uh, if anyone's going to come to him, they can at the very least be bottlenecked at the door. Um, but he's going to look out um, over, not even over um, Ezra's shoulder because she's so short, it's just a straight line. <laughs> straight line ahead. <laughs> um, um, and he's going to stare at one of them and just go, I'm not entirely sure what higher purpose you think you're fulfilling right now. But I will promise you that when you die here, and you will, it'll be impactless. Everything you lived for will be for nothing. You'll die for nothing. You've lived for nothing. And once you do pass, no one will remember you. Um, and I'm going to use a combination. So first one's going to be um, intimidating glare to demoralize mm. them. Mm -hmm. Um and then Bon Mo for yes. um, so intimidating glare. That's a twenty six for intimidation. Okay. Um, I guess against their will DC, I believe it yep. is. So their will DC is a is a twenty one. Okay, so now I got a twenty six. So is that that's a crit, right? Is it five? No, it it's gonna be it's gonna be ten above. So 10. You, okay, yeah. So that means with intimidating glare, I have reduced it by uh, uh, success. Uh, they are frightened one. Okay. Um, 
and then Bon Mo is diplomacy, I believe. Yep. Uh, yes, and that is a thirty-four for against a war DC. Uh, that's a success. A uh, success. Okay. Um, well, so... uh, thirty-six is a critical success. Okay, awesome. So to get a minus three penalty to perception and will saves for one minute. Um, they can end the effect with a retort. So they have to take use an action to try and, I guess, insult me back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's it. And then I'm going to cast shield um, as my third action to protect myself. And that's the end of my turn. All right. That brings us to Lenny. So there are still three standing there, right? Yes, uh, there are three that you can see. You know, yeah. counting the person on the ground, there is four, five, there's eight. Okay. Um, and movement counts as one of my actions, right? Correct. Okay. She is going to... Um, I think she is going to run out there. This is stupid. She's going to run out there uh, really pumped up because battle has started. Um, and she is going to bring out her switch scythe and just go for the legs of the two closest to her as she can get up there. And so okay. that's going to be one, two. Okay. Movement three. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, so your trip attempt is going to be a um, athletics check. Okay. Well, she's just slicing at their legs. So she's oh, going oh, for damage. Oh, 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 yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. 10 4, 10 4. All right. That first is a 22 to hit. A 22 meets it. Remember beats. to add a plus one because of magic weapon. So. Plus yeah, that that was what the the yeah. twenty the twenty two hits. Yep, and then that means two d six. That so, is. So so my my dogs are are barking because uh, she hears the jingle jangle from my headphones of your dice. So no, 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 no! It is the funniest damn thing ever because I literally was like, "Oh, kind of sounds like a dog collar," and then the dog behind me. Is like, what the fuck's in here? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, that's also how I react to your dice. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, that is 12 piercing damage. Okay. And then the second one is 24 to hit. Uh, 24 also hits. Yep. And then that is uh, only six piercing damage on that one. All right. Uh, it is still alive. Oh, uh, the second one, it was two different ones. That's right. That's right. Let me mm -hmm. move the damage around on my little sheet over here. Cool. Uh, that brings us to them. As the individual on the ground that was shot the leader, the one with the big, huge horns and the scraggly beard, his body starts to lift up into the air. Just, just limp and light starts to shine out of a part of his, his chest and then another part and then another and another as it starts to just crack. His flesh just starts to break out and it is a blinding light for just a moment as his body, his form disappears. And as the light comes back, there stands what looks like a husk of a human. Gray, completely gray body. No facial feature, no hair, no nothing. Just this grayish mass of a person. The antlers are massive and larger as he stands there. And he just kind of looks over all of you and It's time. And you see him start to cast a spell and he disappears. 
That's going to bring us to Alma. Okay, so as I see Lenny run out and all this shit start happening, um, I'm going to kind of like throw a somatic symbol across um, and I'm going to cast... I'm going to use one of my focus spells to cast Needle of Vengeance okay. on Lenny. So... Um, if anybody tries, Lenny is now the forbidden creature. And if anybody tries to um, attack Lenny, that'll be an issue. Um, and it's attack, not even just damage. Um, okay. Um, I'll come back to that in a second. We'll see. We'll wait okay. till it gets triggered. Um, and then, so there's that one dude who disappeared. Is there anybody else that I see within 30 feet? Yeah, there's three in front of you. Okay. Um, I'm going to target one of them because these are the three that um emra um messed up their will saving throws right i can only, I only mess up one correct okay that yeah. one then that specific one i'm going to cast phantom pain on um so i'm going to need a will saving throw all right for this damage My puppos need to stop barking at at the at the it food. It makes me happy. I was gonna say it's like a nice little melody. <laughs> All right, um, I rolled. Well, I rolled a twelve, and it's a will save. Is that correct? Yes, it is. So a total of twenty three. Okay, never mind. That's my turn. <laughs> 10-4. Um, that brings us to Mara. Finally. Hello. Uh, <laughs> I'm near no one, huh? Like, in terms of people I can fuck up. Or want to fuck up. I think that was like 20 feet away, right? The three in front of the doorway? Yeah, there's three in front of the doorway that you can see. But from me, how far is that? It's, I mean, they're the, it's not a large range, it's within 30 feet. Oh, uh, yeah, but I, five feet and 30 feet, very different. Um, and I don't want to get close to these mother. Oh, do I? No, not one that takes two to cast. Um, I, I saw a creepy antler zombie, uh, disappear, correct? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, how long would you say? it would take in terms of action for me to slip into my shadows to wait for something. So it's a single action to hide in the shadow. But the yeah. problem is, is to hold, uh, there's two different ways to hold your actions. You can just move your initiative to a different oh, spot. Oh, no, no, this isn't, this isn't holding. Oh, this oh, is oh. an action after my other two actions. I want to oh, know okay. if it takes two or one. So if you're just going into the shadows, it's one action. If you're moving to Hell a different yeah. shadow, then it's two actions. Great. Fantastic. Because I saw that and I'm like, hmm, okay. Um, I'm going to use Grim Tendrils. Okay. That's a 30-foot line to try and fuck up as many people as I can. How How many can I? In a straight line, you're only going to... You're only going to hit, if it's a five foot, you're only going to hit one max. I'll take it because okay. uh, that's the only spell I have and everything else is cantrips and they're close by. <laughs> um, What do I need to do for this? For Grim Tendrils, I believe it's a reflex save on their, their side. Fortitude. Fortitude. Uh, oh, I rolled a eight. 18 with their fortitude is a 13 so a total of 31 what the actual fuck my dc is 16 the dc 16 how's your dc so low it should because be because i am a rogue plus a spell caster so i've put most okay. of my stuff into my rogue i also rogue. I, I i just because i think it's funny i love the assistant uh, tell the assistant uh, they're doing a great job. <laughs> Weston, 
They would like you to know you're doing a great job. <laughs> Thank you, Boston. My tablet's dying. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> so he brought me the charger. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, there there has been more than one house. yeah there's been more <laughs> than one occasion where i've had to crawl into the studio on all fours to go correct <laughs> something and do it without being seen and then immediately after i do it eric who it usually happens to eric campbell will be like uh jacob jacob everyone jacob i'm that weirdo between like when i'm at the theater see the people like come on to change everything i'm like yes stage crew yeah and everyone else is like what the fuck i kind of am too um, <laughs> hey they do hard work uh, <laughs> okay so that fuck did nothing great yep. fuck all i'm apparently here to fuck spiders fantastic um so with my final action i will it's not a frustrating thing it's an australian thing i'm not yeah, like, like i do not think yeah. we say that <laughs> Let me Most people are you like, like spiders cat. Hello and yeah, welcome to like, being Valkyrie. Australian with Valkyrie. So uh <laughs> I'm not here to fuck spiders. It's basically like, well, I'm not here to do nothing. Like might as well do something. But apparently I'm here <laughs> like to do a... nothing, so I'm here to fuck spiders. You think fucking a spider would be quite an event. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> spider. Not dried up. <laughs> not monster. All right, cryptic connoisseur, calm the fuck down. I, I, okay. Um, we can yeah, find something for you. Final, yeah, we'll find something for you. I'm sure AO3 has a thing for that. Anyway, so I'm ducking back into the shadows and I'm just going to sit here doing these ones, waiting for this asshole to pop up again. Ezra, it's your turn. Okay. Standing in front of these groups, this group of just craw in my side pieces of crap i am going to turn inward and pull on the essence that is the fae in the world around me and i am going to cast fey form and take the form of a dryad speaking Standing of fucking spiders <laughs> that's what i thought that was funny i'm um, here <laughs> let's go um, but I gain like 30 additional hit points and it's a lot bigger. Yeah. You, you get a lot like of that. stuff. You literally yeah, get cool stuff. You see, you see this, 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 uh, short woman just change into a dryad. It's, it's like a whole Love thing. That. It's it's a whole thing, but she still has hands so she can still cast all of her spells. Right. <laughs> yep. The hands on okay. every single day. <laughs> yes. You you still have Lots full full uh, uh, spell casting, yeah, yeah. Um, so I, as I turn into that, um, I do gain uh, the ability to attack with melee, mm -hmm. just like an unarmed strike. And in my fury and anger, I'm just gonna reach out and try and just smack one of them upside the head. Uh, how many actions is um safe for? Sweet. Mm -hmm. Do it. Roll it. Roll your attack. Okay. Okay. Ha. Ha. Here we go. Okay. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Oh, lame. And I used the wrong dice. Um, oh, jeez. Um, seven. Uh, what would I add to that, Jake? <laughs> for your for your dryad form? Yeah. Oh man, hold on, hold on. Let me. Uh, I was trying to look it up really quick and I couldn't find it fast enough. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's a lot. It's like a whole thing. Okay, so uh, your AC turns is nineteen plus your level. You ignore your armor. Uh, your hit point. You get fifteen temporary hit points. Low light vision. One or more unarmed melee specific uh, attacks to battle. Uh, your attack modifier is plus sixteen. Okay. 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 Uh, so that's. 23 to hit. 23 hits. Okay. That's exciting. All right. And then that means that. Sorry, I got really nervous all of a sudden. Oh, no, you're <laughs> like, good. Why? Um, okay. So it's memorizing numbers off the top of your head. That's it's yeah. that's how it is. 
Oh, it's only 1d12 plus 8. This is why I'm bad at this game. Me and numbers are not friends. Oh, that's not horrible. Uh, 14. 14? Points of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, that puts it at... Um, okay, cool. It's still alive. All right. That's it. All right. Uh, that brings us to Imra. Um, still looking at the one that I have frightened and demoralized, um, demoralized and used all of that mm -hmm. one more on. Um, I just say, I do mean it. You will die here and it will, be, it will mean nothing. In fact, let me show you the different ways you will die. And I want to cast Impending Doom. Oh, sick. Okay. Um, let's make a roll save. All right. And with the minus three. Hopefully that helps me. <laughs> 24. Uh, ah, damn it. Yeah, they succeed. So, uh, so for the first round, they're unaffected. Okay. But then it, stuff happens on the second and third. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to do with your turn? Um, I think. Is my shield still up? Was the. Uh, I will probably cast shield again. I don't have any other spells that uses one action. So yeah, I'll cast shield again. Um, yeah. That brings us to you, Lenny. There's now a drider next to you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, she. Yeah. Well, I was going to say it is a, the dryad in Pathfinder dryad. looks more like a um, like oh, a, it's just like a fey. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a food she's forestry, actually really right? beautiful. She's like so, a yeah. forest nymph. That's what she looks like. I, I in my head I keep hearing the word uh uh dryad and not like anyways. Uh <laughs> I swear when I said it, I wasn't trying to make a joke about fucking spiders like in a sexual way. I just think <laughs> okay, that if somebody mm -hmm. fucked a spider, yeah. that'd be really <laughs> fucking wild. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Yeah, this yeah, totally. This is this is a it's a it's a plant person basically it's like a it's like a yeah. big old leshy human My almost favorite kind mm -hmm. of person ten out of ten would <laughs> smash. Uh, is that deforestation? Anyways, um, <laughs> I mean, if you're giving them the wood, I don't know if it's deforestation. I was deforestation. about to say, if you give them one wood, like, I mean, you're planting some Listen. kind of seed. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Oh, <laughs> At the time, oh, I'm done with it. Oh, time, I'm done with okay. it. <laughs> Save so the rainforest, y'all. Okay. Uh, so sorry. Yeah, make it rain on a bit. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. So Haley. there's how oh. many people around me? Just wondering. Three. Three. And then, three. Three. And three. Then <laughs> Mountain Mama. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> um. Okay. So the one that had, I guess that hasn't been fucked up by Imra. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cast Gouging Claw. So the hand that is not currently holding the Switch Scythe turns into a large clawed appendage. And she goes to swing at him. And that is... Giving me sick to Gray Man, but... 28. 28 hits. Gouging Claw. Perfect, and that means 3d6 of damage. I have lost all of my d6, apparently, so I will do this in multiple runs. All right, that is a 10. A 10? Uh, for 10 yes. damage? All right. for damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is still alive. Oh, and then I still have another hit because that was only two moves. And so she goes with the, the claw and then she brings up her switch scythe to follow it. And that is 25. 25 hits. And that is eight. Eight points. Okay. Still alive. What if he wasn't, you know? <laughs> yeah what if what, 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 what would happen what if he just floated off you know? question uh imra what's your ac uh oh 21 21 okay so i rolled a six plus 22 would be 28 
So, so it hits. Yeah. Em- Emra, can you do me a favor and make a will save? Yeah. Is this an emotional so effect? Genuine. It is a uh, illusion and a cult. Okay. Is it a will say right? Correct. Pretty decent at that. Um, 28. Um, Imra, the the hut goes dark. And you don't see any of your allies. And all of you don't see Imra. You all see this gray just person standing behind where Imra once was. And it's Alma's turn. Okay, well, we were basically kind of hanging out in the same place, I believe. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to... You know what? Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to cast Worms Repost or Worms Repast, and I'm going to need a Fortitude saving throw. A Fortitude? Okay. Uh, 29. For the love of fucking Christ. Um, okay, 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 okay. Um, that's fine. No, it's not. Um, damn, bitch. Can you get a spell that's not a saving throw? <laughs> Fucking grow. Grow. Develop. Be better. <laughs> Be better. What if you just chose one that wasn't? You know. You ever thought of that? Literally, I'm not going to lie. I think that's kind of the thing for witches is like, a lot of their spells are saving throw based. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, Ezra is also a a witch as well. So, just throwing oh, yeah. that out there. Well, she's more powerful than me. She's cool. Okay, she's <laughs> cool. Mountain, Mountain mommy, Mountain <laughs> mommy. Um, you know what? Fucking, I'm gonna use my last. You're on your fucking own, my dude. Um, I'm gonna use my last. <laughs> Action to cast shield. <laughs> I checked. Remember when they covered your face so no one saw you cry? That was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have actions. Well, well, wait. I mean, I will say, no, no, as no, no, far no. as you're concerned, this is just an enemy that just appeared where uh, Imra was. That, that's one thing I will say. Yeah, Imra peaced out. You don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you you do not know. Emra disappeared. Who Emra, side are you on? Emra could have turned into this thing. I'm fighting everyone. <laughs> have y'all oh, seen no. that gif of that dude just being like? Apparently, uh, stream went down. That's what I'm imagining. Apparently, <laughs> yeah. stream went down. Yeah, I, I'm I'm watching the. Uh, oh, yeah, it has no, it's on, yeah, it's. I think it's gone on every. What's What's weird is OBS over here is like good. Like OBS is like. Oh, we're, we're not missing. Back up. Are we back up. Huh? I'm on my phone at least. Yeah, I think I think there might be something wrong with the web right now. Twitch has been kind of oh, weird. It's, okay. it's those Honestly. sharks eating the internet again. What? Haven't you heard? Of- oh my! You Lord. know what? It's, yeah, Australia. Australia. it's Australia. No, it's, it's actually, not. It's a thing that hit. It it's a thing. Yeah. I'll it, find it for you and put it in the chat. I'm, Don't I'm worry. Like, I want y'all to know that, that Lenny is, is that that meme of the of the party and the person in the corner. They don't even know I want to fight them all. <laughs> <laughs> In the party, yeah. They have no idea that I want to fight them. <laughs> they have no idea I want to fight them all. <laughs> don't mind me posting this for myself. But, uh, <laughs> okay, are we back, everybody? I would say just continue Thanks because uh, on. I think it's mm-hmm. I think it's a it's a Twitch thing. I I, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm, I can't get on network and OBS is like we we good. Yeah, fam, it's not working so. for me right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna cast yeah, shield. I'm so sorry. So sorry to this to this person. So sorry to this pal. But I can't fucking help you. <laughs> to this humanoid. I'm sorry to this pal. Uh, what did you, uh uh all right, so then that ends that's the end of your turn, correct? All right. Uh that brings us to Mara. 
it's me again. Uh, oh god, now I can all I can see is sharks attacking the internet. Um, oh, I'm wondering if I should stick around in shadows next to our our mountain mommy to protect them, or if I should go outside and just start fucking people up. Mm. It's one action to move to closer to people. Yeah, in my mm-hmm. shadows. Uh, are there any, wait, this is one person, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, who's my nearest where it's just going to be me and them? Uh, just you and one of them. Mm. Uh, there is four others that's nowhere near you. Okay. And who is everyone attacking at the moment? Uh, so four of them are trying to light the house on fire. Three of them are being attacked that are being dealt with by Lenny and uh, Ezra. The other one is inside the house uh, uh, and has touched Imra and uh, Imra disappeared. And you're also in the house. So and okay. uh, so is Alma. Okay. And, 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 for, and for the sake of it, so I don't waste another turn. My spell DC won't work for anything, will it? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, that makes me sad because I have such cool shit. Um, okay. Yeah, but you're a rogue. <sighs> just, just use your rogue stuff. I know, but I'm not good at it. <laughs> I'm not good at anything. I mean, I'm starting to realize I don't think we're good at anything. That's what Definitely I'm saying. Not not, of vows. Not, they're not, not good. Dot 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 at anything. That's I mean, slogan. I mean, uh, I mean, you're good at being huge pains in the ass. That's for sure. We're good you're at being welcome. bad. <laughs> you're welcome for that. Um, okay. Uh, so there's one motherfucker in the room. Mm-hmm. Okay, so say if I wanted to attack this person in the room, it would be one turn to get close enough and to jump out of the shadow? It would be one action to move out of any other shadow. Okay. Would I be close enough to attack immediately after jumping out of shadow? Uh, to, to, to which person? I'm going to go the one that's actually beating, like we're beating the shit out of because it concerns me that they're still not down. Oh, okay. So outside, one of the uh, the group of three outside. Yes, the answer is yes. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna be really bad because I haven't done this in a while. I'm going to jump out of the shadows at one of them, and I already have my daggers out because <laughs> me and Lenny were pumping each other up. Um, I'm gonna use twin faint. And they know, should I? Because they don't see me coming because I'm in shadows, right? Correct. So it's a sneak attack. I'm going to save Twin Faint. I'm just going to straight up sneak attack attack okay. them. Okay. Don't fuck me. Don't fuck me. Don't fuck me. Unless you're into it. <sighs> exactly. It's consent. Consent is important. Uh, that was good. That was... Where are we? My weapons. Hello. Them being flat-footed would mean you need to hit a 20 or higher. I actually need to use a calculator. Let's go. 26. Cool. There you go. Uh, sweet, sweet, sweet. And that's... Fuck. So that's... Sneak attack is double? Cor- no, sneak attack is not double. It's an additional 2d6. A, a double... <laughs> Okay, cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. What level um, are you? Level five? I'm level five, so I only get uh 1d4, because this is my dagger. Okay. Uh so <sighs> sorry guys, bear with me. I'm a fucking terrible rogue. You are good. Well, do you yeah. comprehend yeah, your abilities? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I've I have already said this. <laughs> When I attack Liv, it's also a personal attack. I'm going to say to Masochus, come on, give me some credit. Uh, oh. Okay, okay. I yeah, think I've been yeah. Fifth level, fifth level is 2d6. Yeah, I just confirmed. So 
I have my one d four from my dagger, and then two d six from 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 your sneak attack. So, so that's what's why it's under conditionals there. Cool, yep. cool, cool. Uh, so the conditional is two d six is just for the sneak attack, or is the two d six additional because I have it here in my thing? Is yeah. that yeah, I have thing? a finesse weapon? No finesse, no. No, let's cool. let's Wait, dexterity, I think, instead. Yep. Right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Twitch still being an asshole. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Love it. Love to see that. Uh there you are, little buddy. I refresh and it's good, but like I don't know for how long. Yeah, I'm gonna immediately like Hey, yeah. All right, all right, not too bad. I think this is the most damage I've ever done. Go me. Uh, still can count it on, you know, my fingers. Ten. <laughs> Yay. Ten. And I have. You were like 11, I have. Like I have <laughs> always. I have Learned always something. really rolled badly. This is. This is what. Here's talk. the question: Is this? Is this the one that looks the most beat up? Is that what you're going after? Yes. Uh. Describe to me how your dagger kills this person. Oh my god. Ah oh, finally. Uh so oh, this is a good one. They're one of the creepy horn dudes, eh? Yes. They're, they're yeah. this is one of the short gray uh horn dudes with like in like the monk robes. Fantastic. Uh so Mara's gonna like all you see is this shadow to sort of creep up from the ground. Like, Kat, when I say Kingdom Hearts, now you understand me. So it's yeah. sort of, like she sort of just steps out and she's sort of like shadow, literally just shadow for a second. And all you see is this hand go out, grab one of the horns, yank their head back, and a dagger just come out and slit their throat. And it's it's probably she's she's that like angry right now. It's probably deep enough that it's like a Pez dispenser kind of thing going on. Wow, 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 wow. wow, wow. <laughs> Mara, now that you're behind them and you're looking back towards the house uh, after you cut the dagger, you realize that the four that are around the house, they're not just burning the trying to burn the house. They themselves have lit themselves on fire. And what? are in the fuck? are hugging the house to try and burn it. I mean, that's pretty art house. I got to respect that. <laughs> but what the fuck? Um, okay. <laughs> so, jumping so, out was one, one action. Correct. Stabbing the guy was, was a second. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> I really want to duck back into the shadows again. Sure. Okay. Am I allowed to say something as I'm like sort of phasing yeah. back? Yeah. You Okay. So you just see like Mara, like full on, cause she's still a fucking child at heart. Just go wah, wah, and uh, push the dude over. See that shit move back into the shadows behind her. And all you hear is this like echoing. They're on fire and hugging the house. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just as, what the fuck? <laughs> so the two that are left are going to going to go and they're going to attack uh, Lenny. Or one of them is going to attempt to attack Lenny. Because I reread it. Yeah. Oh, whenever um, it is whenever someone tries to attack Lenny. <laughs> so a long jagged needle stabs into the target foe's sure. psyche. Mm -hmm. um, I need a basic will save, please. Uh, a 14. Is not going to fucking make it. That's six oh points God, of mental yes. damage. It's fucking hot. That's so hot. Just it's automatically so just... Hot. <laughs> uh, Twitches. <laughs> He's like... Oh. <laughs> like a migraine like oh, no yeah, joke literally. no joke uh it literally it literally goes and just collapses <laughs> <laughs> fucking right 
<laughs> do you think you did that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Then he's I like, I could not do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> The one I that, stabbed him without even stabbing. The, the <laughs> one that's didn't left, see anything happen. It was just these guns. <laughs> the one that's left looks down and sees sees what happened and looks over at Lenny and tries to make an attack at Lenny. Does it also okay. have to or no? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Every single time. Uh, Let's go! That one was a twenty-two. That barely, barely, barely makes it. Okay. So it takes half damage. Is that correct? Because if it's a basic um, save. It is a basic save, yes. All right. So that's three points of damage. All righty. Uh, this one this one is actually the healthiest of all of them. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he's been touched too much. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, no. I mean, to uh, be a part of this cult, no. It, it, it took, it took a, a, a big chunk of damage from uh, Mountain Mommy, but that's about the blast, it. Yeah. Um, all right. It, it's uh, going to still make its attack. Uh, that's going to hit, uh, 16 plus 15, 31. All right. It's not a, it's not a lot of damage though, but I do uh -huh. get, but I do get to roll my D4s. So that's the cool part about it. <laughs> oh wait, 31 is not the damage. No, that's to hit. Oh, I was like, yeah, it is. <laughs> no. <laughs> Of damage <laughs> that's where the fuck off came from i was oh like shut God. up <laughs> it's 2d4 plus 7 damage so cool we're good we're good <laughs> uh 14 damage easy we know how to count here. uh it's going to make uh, another attempt um is there is it a reaction that you need to spend or is it literally just Live. Yeah, for live. Uh, for so, that, sorry, what was that? No, no, no. For that spell, is it is a reaction you're spending, or is it literally just any time? It is like now. It's it's one of my uh, focus spells. Oh, so it is. Yeah, it's from my lesson of vengeance. So, so this one, like for a minute. So uh, this one's fifteen for its will save. Okay, that's not gonna make it. That's gonna be six points of mental damage. Fuck him up. All right, uh, and then to hit Lenny uh, is, uh, I don't think a 17 is going to hit Lenny. It's not. All right. Just dodging. Uh, is seven, that another attack? 17 on the will save? Nope, that's more, that's six more points of mental damage. Um, <laughs> does a 21 hit Lenny? Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> so this dude is like, know every bit of damage. Yeah. He's oh, like, oh, oh. Oh, I would really like to it's say not so you. Nah, it's Lenny. This is old Lenny. Lenny's Let's like, yeah, I'm so fucking scary. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you can just hear this disembodied laughter. <laughs> So, so this spell reminds me of something that my doctor told me I have because I get I get what what they call lightning migraines, which oh. is which is I get a migraine for like a millisecond and then it's gone. So I I'm, I literally am imagine this person like moving to swing and like yeah like and then it missing <laughs> because it literally <laughs> and the whole time this is happening, Lenny's like I'm so fucking great, but like on all my shoulders, <laughs> Caster's big ass eyes are just staring directly at Lenny because <laughs> he's like the source of my spell like, cast, like her own world. Like she thinks like she's on the battleground right now. <laughs> She's what is gonna come back? He's like, yo, I'm fucking psychic. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I was part of that thing. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> She's trying her best, dude. <laughs> oh. uh, that brings us to Ezra. There's one more of these out here. There's the 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 main guy inside your hut, and there are four people burning themselves alive to burn your hut down. Okay. Um, standing, see, ha! Huh! my hat is on fire. So, um, turning around towards them, I am going to, with all three of my actions, summon a, uh, water elemental. 
Yes. I am going to summon Living Waterfall. Nice. Um, uh, but that, that takes all three of my actions, so I can't do anything with it until the next round. But so, so the way the spell works is you spend all three of your actions, but you you that counts as they get one action. Oh, oh, okay, cool. So then, uh, attack, attack. Hold on, let's see what I want them to attack. Um, five foot emanation. Okay, I want it to use. Way, way, no drench. Okay. And um, the fire that I see that's closest to me, I'm going to direct it to it and say, "Put it out!" And sure enough, it starts casting to try and uh, 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 um, douse the flames. Um, is it attack or is it a save? Um, it just says the elemental puts out all fires in a five foot emanation. Oh, done. Done. It's out. It's ex ex uh, exhausted. As uh, long as the, it's non-magical. Yeah, it is non-magical. Okay. It is literally the person lit themselves on fire and is using their bodies as a means to light the house on fire. And as the, the water drenches down on one of the four pillars of your house, the person that was once lit on fire literally slumps over and falls to the ground uh, as well. That is all three of your actions. Now it's Imra's turn. Um. Imra. I will say before that, um, is the person that I had frightened and demoralized still up? No, they're dead. Okay, then. Cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, yeah. What's happening? Imra, you're in just a black void. And you can't see or hear anyone except for yourself and the voice in the back of your head. I told you you should have let me talk to her. I have no idea how that's going to be helpful in this situation. Well, we could have better planned strong women working together versus your just limp wristed weak self. Okay. How are we going to get out of here if you are so all knowing? You don't know what's going on? No, you don't exactly teach me. Oh, I thought you were a big, strong spellcaster, though. Yes, I had to teach myself that. Didn't have time to teach myself anything else. No, you decided to stop listening to me and not doing the training I set out. You're so Swing far sword. behind. Yes, you're so far behind because you didn't listen. You're a weak spellcaster, and you're even a weaker fighter. Answer the question. How do we get out of here? We wait. Lenny, it is your turn. All right. So there are still burning people around the house, right? Three. And there is Three a gray, gray guy inside the house. And there's one still by you. Okay. Um, then first she's going to cast Ray of Frost at one of the fire boys. Okay. Hoping to put him out or do something there. Okay. And that is a net 20 plus 10, 30. I'm going to say with the net 20, you're also going to uh, take the fire out. So that's two of the fires gone. Okay. Um, And if it was Rhea Frost at a person, do I get to do the attack or was that at the fire? That was, that was, they're, they're the same. Okay. So I can still do the damage rolls. They're, or yeah, they're, they're dead. dead. They're dead. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Sorry. I thought uh, they were uh, living fire, on fire. Fire, fire by suicide. I don't know how long they, a person can be on fire. I haven't tested it, so I wasn't sure. Um, and then. Do it on your channel. Yeah, I think that might be like my going out stream. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> I'm just saying that me and Jake could tell you a whole lot about burning I'm people. Sure. <laughs> you could get I've a decent a stream man. out. You could get like a good 15, 20 minutes out of it. So, mm. I mean, they burnt witches at the state, man. <laughs> if they let me be live that long. Uh, and then I'm going <laughs> to grab my side <laughs> and hit the one that is closest to me. I think okay. he's like right. There, yeah, yeah, we, in pain. He, yeah. He was trying to hit you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you but mentally, you mentally that. did, uh, you know, twelve damage. Let the record. 
Let the record show she did not do shit. It was Let all running. It was incredible. Running is doing amazing right now. Um, and that is going to be a twenty-seven to hit. Okay. Twenty-seven and... hit. Oh, okay. And then two d six. That is six plus three nine. Nine points of damage. Mm -hmm. Uh, this kills him. Oh, she was like, as big as her small frame will do, and she does does a huge like uppercut and just like drags the switch scythe upwards through him, and just goes standing <laughs> 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 in the snow. <laughs> and yeah, that's her. That's her action. And as your your turn ends, you all hear. You're all doing such an amazing job, but it's my time to shine. Do you not understand? You're all going to burn for your horrible, hideous sins. Imra, you can hear this. It sounds okay. like it is right next to you. I'm going okay. to I'm it, I'm going to let you go right now. What would you like to do as you hear this disembodied voice that is not your mother? Um, so right next to me, like it's coming from my, I can tell it's coming from a direction. It's not it like sounds like me. it is right behind you. Okay. Um, can I do some kind of like check to figure out where I am? Like what magical effect has affected me? You can roll uh, an arcana check if you'd like, or an occult check. Checking um a cult would be same. better a cult would be better but yeah okay i'll do a cult then they're both the same for me anyway okay that is a 29 uh you they they cast a spell on you which is called isolation lash which basically puts you does not allow you uh it basically for four rounds it makes it so that you cannot see any of your allies and you cannot see anything around you. You do not like there. You just you become and you also become invisible and inaudible to everyone else. Okay, so I'm still okay. Cool, cool, cool. In that case, yeah, you're in. So this is just uh, you're invisible, inaudible, and otherwise uh, in uh, impresent, impresentable for your allies for four rounds. Okay. Um, so was that an action to do that check? Uh, no, I'll give that to you for free. Okay. Um, let me just make sure I'm reading this properly. Okay. Da, da, da. I don't really think there's anything I can do that's useful, especially against this thing. Um, it's almost like I put you in situations where you're not at your peak sometimes to <laughs> test you. <laughs> um... You know, I might as well. If I can't locate them, I'll just hit everyone around me. I'm going to use harm three actions to make a 30 foot emanation. <laughs> um, okay. I like to be precise, but when I'm in a world where I can't be, I'll be as imprecise as possible. Um, so I love in... that that is your answer because my answer would have been to flail. <laughs> Imra, Imra, even alone, he has too much dignity to flail randomly. So it's like, I'll hit everyone around me. Dignity, is that what you call it? <laughs> so other <laughs> than other than Mara, everyone else roll me <sighs> a I believe it's a fortitude save. Yes, yeah, a basic fortitude save. Yeah, shadow is pretend. And he's no, you're just that far away. I know. <laughs> it got me out of it. <laughs> he's casting that at, the, at second level. Um, actually, no, I don't think that changed anything. Never mind. Just second level changes how much damage you do. Okay. okay. And low Do we use hero points in this game? Uh, we 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 because it, actually you are not an evil character, so you can the the party cannot use oh. hero points. Okay, good. <laughs> Wait, I have a, a, a oh wait, no, I don't. Never mind. I was like, I have a point, but I don't think it's actually a thing. Wait, do we have a D10? You have two. Yeah. We have two. Oh. I'm gonna use one. Fuck y'all. We <laughs> <laughs> got a 31. All right, cool. I think there should be good. Yeah. 25. Uh what is the what is the save, Imra? 21. 
Oh yeah, I needed that. Um, let me um, see what happens on a save. The basics. I'm guessing a save is like half damage from that. Yeah, if if they six if they succeed, it's half. If they critically succeed, it's none. If they fail, it's full, and so on. Okay. Um, I got twenty seven. Can y'all fucking believe it? <laughs> So <laughs> they they got a twenty three. Oh, okay. Per so they saved, but it's uh, they still take half damage. So it is they take eight points of negative damage. I believe all of uh, us do, right? Yes, yeah. Since everyone saved, it'll be half. So yeah, eight points. I rolled max damage. Um, and that is yeah. That's all my actions. So. Kind of sigh and hope I did what I could. All right, that is going to mean uh, that it is uh, Alma's turn. And so, sorry, there's been a lot going on. Any more people on fire attacking the house? There are still two people on fire attacking the house. Okay, okay, then I'm going to cast spiritual weapon on one of them, or right next to one of them. Um, and I'm going to do a little strike. I don't want to scare this D20. I'm, I don't believe, trust any of them. I feel like they're fucking with me. A selenite bow, I told you. I know, I know. I need to. Is 21 going to hit? Uh, 21... Uh, where is it? Yes, 21 hits. Okay, awesome. Love it. This is 10. one of the ones that are trying to suicide burn, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. That, yeah, that yeah, yeah. Is. Okay, cool. So then that's going to be 12 points of damage. Fuck yeah. Nice. That was max damage. Um, yeah, and then I guess I'll attack again one more time with it okay. since casting it is two actions. Okay, that's going to be another 21 to hit. Okay. And then that's going to be seven points of damage. All right. Um, and that's all I got. All right, that brings us to Mara. Uh, does Mara know that Imra did? You do, not, you do not know where Imra is. Oh, no, like, as in... Did she feel that? <laughs> nope. You weren't even in the saving throw area. Fantastic. So I can't be like, you stupid, absolute dumbass. Uh, cool. There are people who are out here but not on fire? No. Only no? On, only two fire people are, are outside and then, then the main guy. So the main the, guy being the guy? Yes, they're all horny, but that's a different him? story. Yeah, he's he's inside the house where Imra was. So he's visible oh, now. The, the... He has never been invisible. Only Imra is invisible. Yeah. He was yeah. like a gray figure though. We didn't we didn't see So he was like... just in there. Just chilling. He was always in no, there. No, I no, no. We all figured out, yeah. Um this creature basically swapped places with me. It's basically the best way to put it. Mm, no, so what he did is he he the first round he actually used planar shift and teleported basically to the other side to uh behind imra and then attacked him and touched him and put put him in a completely different dimension basically and then has been was the one talking and clapping from inside the house so you all know that he's there mm, okay okay i'm not I stupid i roll badly and i don't do much damage as much as i'd like to so I'm probably gonna try and I don't know how I can put out the the Sparky Boys. Stabbing him won't put out a fire. <laughs> nope. Stop I mean, you're a tiefling. You can just grab him and pull him away. I'm a fire. tiefling, but I don't think that just gives me fire resistance, though. But is it not? Aren't okay. We surrounded. Jake, help me out. By, aren't we uh, surrounded by snow? Yes, you are absolutely. Surrounded. I was thinking of just grabbing him and like smacking him in. Uh, doing the whole depending on your choices and character creation you could absolutely be fire resistant by the way. i know but i don't think i am because i am where are my description da, 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 da. where is my bloodline for fuck's sake uh my bloodline shadow 
and okay. i it's a like vel strike so it's not okay fire resistant i would really like to be fire resistant well i mean you you have another level in which you can change that so i'll get that um <laughs> one more time i will see you level six you Two. can also you can also teleport behind this guy and attack him i was thinking of it can i in one turn one action to come to him one one action to exit the 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 shadow so yeah. think of it as one action to enter a shadow one and uh, action to exit a shadow so you are oh, i'm currently... talking i'm talking about like movement like do i need to move within the shadows to get there no one Fuck, to enter yeah. second action to exit so you have already spent one action on your previous turn entering the shadow wait, 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 wait. yeah so yeah i'm gonna pop up behind this mofo uh try and do a stab and then <laughs> fucking hide again so he can't touch me so the benefit of this spell that he used uh, is it actually puts him flat-footed while the spell is active on Imra. So his AC is a 27. Oh, come on. Please, 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 please. I need to put my glasses on. Uh, Did anyone else see the librarian that just showed serious. up on screen? As I say, it's fucking serious. We got what? a hot librarian moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can everyone please be quiet? This is um, <laughs> Did we move into the adult section of the library? I Ooh. swear to God, is somebody this, is... suggest. If you've ever seen those videos of people being like, singing this song using AO3 lyrics or something like that. Like, somebody's just going to take clips of this show and write a whole fucking porn scene <laughs> with <laughs> just our audio clips. Do you know how tempted <laughs> I am to do, not that shit, but the shit you mentioned before, the singing AO3 lyrics? I now know what I'm doing in my fan house. Okay. Um, so <laughs> that was a, oh, fuck, I only rolled an 11, 11, 16, 17 with the plus. I don't think I have any extras on that one. Other than the, other than using the last community D10. I used it selfishly. I mean, this isn't selfish. I'm trying to stab a dude. Okay. I mean, uh, the, qu the question is... We don't even need it. <laughs> do you think that D10 is going to help you hit a 27? Mm. What's your total right now? Let me triple check because I'm bad at playing this game. <laughs> I am. We know this. I admit this openly. Uh, so... Okay, so that's a plus. Okay, so it's a twenty at the moment because I rolled an eleven. And so you I would have to roll. You would have to roll eight. a seven, eight, or a nine. So you have a thirty percent chance of making that D twenty worth I'm it. I'm really bad at rolling eight, nine or ten. Do we really want to waste it like that? It is. It is completely up to all y'all. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah. Go for it. We might as well fucking use them. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. I'm gonna go find it. a fucking D10. Where are you? You're a D10, aren't you? I get you. Please don't fuck me. Please don't fuck me. Again, unless unless you're into it. Non. Okay, let me let me rephrase that. Please don't fuck me non consensually. What is? Excuse me while I cry. That was only a one. Ooh. Yeah, you fail. All right. That brings us to Ezra. I'm back in the shadow, by the way. <laughs> Tried to stab, missed. Okay. Where is Alma in relation to me? I'm just outside the front door. Probably Alma, the same you're... place. Yeah, you're about or... the same area. Okay. Yeah, I don't move much in battle. If I can help it. Okay. I'm going to turn to Alma and just put my hand. Am I close enough to touch her? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to put my hand on her shoulder and 
uh, say, I can see you have more to give. Be safe. And I'm going to cast Blood Ward on her. Oh, okay. Which gives you a plus two status bonus to saving throws and AC. Oh, okay. With creatures that are animal abrasions, celestial constructs, dragons, elementals, fae, fiend, fungus, motor, z- monitor, zoo, ooze, plant, or undead. Damn. I'm not sure if he is an undead at this point or not. He is a fiend. But, I mean, he's a fiend. Oh, he's a fiend. Okay, so it's it'll work. So it'll give you plus two to your status bonus and your AC. Okay. Okay. And Thanks, then... Um- <laughs> then she's gonna turn um and cast oh shoot where was it wait i had it i had it i had it where'd it go ah i had it where did it go blah, 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 blah. hold on momentary brain frozen Reboot. Spinning. um okay uh for uh my second action i want to move into the house okay i did not realize until just now that bad psycho dude was inside my hut and I uh, cast oh frick I can't know should I do this the answer is always yes yes, yes. <laughs> do it Sansa is always yes uh-huh. considering I just wasted <laughs> LSD 10 do it <laughs> I am going to cast lightning bolt Ooh. <laughs> so stepping into the house and extending one hand, I just shout in fury and cast lightning bolts. Um, it's a basic reflex save. Okay. Uh, he got a 28. Oh. Even being flat footed? Doesn't matter when you're flat footed for uh reflex saves. Flat foot is just AC. Mm. Yeah, he 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 saves on that one, I believe. Your spellcast DC is 29. 29. Never mind. I, I lied. I lied. He he didn't <laughs> why would, save. Why would you lie to us? I'm not sorry, I was looking at the wrong number. No, I liked it. I liked the debate. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, the baby. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, okay, so then it is oh uh shoot, I just where did it, oh. why do you guys make me so nervous? <laughs> so you look like you're mommy. Mommy. I do this every week. Week. Come are on. You for, are you looking for are you just looking for lightning bolt? 40 12. There we go. Yeah, 40, yeah, yeah, yeah. 40 12. I want a oh gun. That's so, a good throw. Out, out of 21 points of damage. 21 points of damage already. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I'm going to... Th- can I... Uh, my elemental still has one... Yes? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to yell drench at it again and point to the guy that's still on fire. Because there's one still on fire, right? Correct. Yes. Just go! <laughs> and, and it casts drench and same thing happens. The f- he falls, the fire dies down, and his body slumps down. Room question: Where are Toady and Thing One and Two? Uh, they're by you because they're they're your um because they're your familiar. Okay, so they came with me, so they yes. weren't stuck in the house. Correct. Okay, all right, I'm good. <laughs> we we don't we don't hurt animals. All right, um, <laughs> little mushrooms. Yeah, <laughs> um, Imra, it is your turn again. Um, I mean, I haven't reappeared is- yet. And this is your second round. Uh, yeah, so I will just cast harm again um, with all three of my turns to make an emanation. All right. Uh, everyone roll your, uh, was it a will save? And uh, fortitude, this time it? it'll be at 42, fortitude, yeah. Fortitude. This time it will be at third level. Jake, does that include me? Oh, yeah. Drag, oh, yeah. Drag? I mean this so seriously. <laughs> Get help. What Heal. else am I supposed to do? <laughs> what would Imra do? Just stand there? Heal. Imra uh, would not just flail, stand there. If, <laughs> if this hurts me, I am gonna fly over and kick your ass. Well, what is your? What is your? What <laughs> is your? We don't even know it's him. him. <laughs> exactly. You physically, you literally do not know. You we honestly, it know. makes more sense for you to think that it's this creature because he's standing in the same, like mm-hmm. next to the same spot that Imra was, and Imra hasn't moved. I got thirty. 
Ezra got a yeah, thirty-six. What's your spell class, or what's your save, uh, Imra? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. So if anyone has a higher than twenty-one, they're going to take half damage. If they got a thirty-one or higher, they're taking no damage. Uh, da, da, da. That is oh, not much. 30. It's eleven points of damage for the full damage. Half of that if you succeeded. I round up. Or round down. You you round down. Okay. What so saving throw was that? Fort. Fort. Yeah. And I can't replace that with anything else, can nope. I? Nope. I will. I need to paint you all a, a picture. Because I, yes, I do. <laughs> My portent rule today, why I freaked out, was a natural 20. <gasps> I just rolled a natural one <gasps> for this fucking thing. Are you going to use it? So we're switching? Fuck. No, it's 11 points of damage. I'll take it. <laughs> it's 22 for you. Yeah. For the unit failed. Because that was a fail fail. Mm. <laughs> but what if I need this? To you? What if I need you do need it right now. <laughs> what, 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 let me put it this way. Right None of us can heal you. Here's the question. Yeah. Does 22 kill you? No. Then take the damage. Exactly. <laughs> God. Well, okay. All right. Because here's the thing, I could also use that nat 20 to attack this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's under my turn. All right. That brings us to uh, Lenny. So, Lenny saw Mountain Mommy try to attack with Lightning Bolt, succeed attacking with Lightning Bolt, and goes, I can do that. And runs forward uh, and casts lightning bolt <laughs> <laughs> at this man. All right, so it's it's not going to go as well. It's a, what, <laughs> it's a reflex, correct? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 35. Yeah, I hit. No. Just, no. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't oh, even have us going in the first half. No. <laughs> so Mount, Mount Mama comes in, casts, it, it, the guy gets hit hard. Then Lenny's like, I got this, comes in, does it. And he's like. <laughs> it doesn't work. So she takes her switch scythe out of anger and just goes and swings at him. <laughs> um, probably also still not going to hit, but we'll see. Uh, 27 to hit. Um, yeah, you feel my pain now? Wait, I still have the plus one? No, I don't. Still yes, have the you plus do. One. It's for one I minute. I do still have the plus one? I got 27? Yes! Get I it! You definitely okay. see like Get it was about to miss. Go. And like, you see like the blood reach out for sure. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Just push the dice a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and then 2d6. And that, that is enough. 10. I know. Ten? I'm sorry. It's so loud again. in the mic. <laughs> Fine. Uh, oh, yeah. That brings us to Alma. Okay. So I'm going to, now that all the fire people are taken out, I'm going to sustain my spiritual weapon. Not you loading right now. Get it? together computer <laughs> jesus christ i can fall apart but you can't okay <laughs> i mean one or the other come on we gotta take turns yeah. oh my God. <laughs> um so yeah so alma's gonna send her spiritual weapon over and i'm going to try to attack this guy because he's not nice and we don't like him and that's gonna be um 25 to hit so it's 27 to hit him okay that's fine i can still do it two more times you also have a nat 20 that you could use i also just rolled a 17 which means it's 28 so fuck you <laughs> yo i don't know why i'm getting yelled yeah, at right now shut your fucking <laughs> mouth <huh? laughs> I wonder why everybody's mad at me. Actually, you're right. Sorry, you're not Drac. How dare. 
Okay, that's gonna Come on, be... he's the leader. Be nice. He is not oh, the leader. He's not our they leader. Are not. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they are not the leader. <laughs> Let me tell you that right now. That ain't Mara the is like part shadow. And that was even too shady for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, so that's going to be 12 points of damage on that. Okay. Cool. Okay, you know what? Fine. I'll use the nat 20 on this one because that's not going to work. Um, you get to... There are so many dice that are just in jail right now. I, whew, we Feel need that. to... Y'all need to heal. Um, okay, so that's going to be... That's going to be 31 to hit. Uh, a 31 hits. And that's another... Um, nine points of damage. What are you hitting him with? My spiritual weapon, which is like a little, like night sky shadowy dagger, you, uh, like a I'm constellation. Su Ooh, I, I'm yeah. surprised you're not using like like a, a sailor moon kind of staff. Like, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> because you just honest, Pastor Adam. Um, <clears throat> because if Omo actually was in Sailor Moon, she'd probably actually be from the Dark Moon or the Negaverse. So no. Also, Jake, just call it's her? called a scepter. <laughs> What verse? I, Can you say that again? Yeah, <laughs> what was the verse? <laughs> Naga verse. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 uh, it's a word That's that a I negative, <laughs> like negative. <laughs> cool, just to make sure. Uh, there, there's a. Uh, it makes me think of a creature that is in Monster Hunter, which uh, I will I will never say ever again, um, <laughs> because it 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 does not translate to English very well, but it is. Something Gante. Um, it is <laughs> Nerga Gante. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's also like the first time I made my friend listen, my black friend listen to K-pop. Yeah. There's like a Korean word mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. so close. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, so close. We're standing and we're like, wait one second, what did BTS just call me? <laughs> <laughs> this was a safe space, BTS. <laughs> That like was I'm not throwing away my butter. poster. <laughs> yeah. That was not smooth as butter. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, so Alma, as as this this moon like dagger that that like it doesn't look like it's a blade. Like it looks like, or it's it's a dagger, but instead of having like metal or whatever, it literally looks like purpley blue with stars in through it, mm -hmm, and it, it mm -hmm. slices through him, and you literally. As you see the slice, the second slice that goes through, you all of a sudden see Imra reappear in front of him. Imra, you see everyone uh, in the room as well, and you hear the clunk, clunk, clunk of the person behind Imra fall. Did, oh, I, did, did, I, did I do it? Did I, did I do it? Seems like you all did. You just hear like this disembodied voice because I'm still in the shadows. You just hear, just keep your guard up. You're all out of initiative. Oh, I fucking did it. Let's fucking go. <laughs> oh the my god, thank like... god for that nat 20. Is there Whoa. a body like right in front of me? Uh, you see or... a body right behind Imra. Yeah, 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 because you moved further in. Like, yes, yeah, yeah, see. yeah. It is on the ground and it is gray and it looks like it's almost like dehydrating itself. Like you just literally see it just kind of like wilting and almost aging. Instantly. So it's kind of crumpling. Okay. Yeah. Lenny goes over and stomps all over it. Just like Lenny, as you do that, it literally kicks up dust. Ew. Like just, just almost like ash. And Ezra, still in an um, dryad form, kind of rushes forward, like, don't get his pieces all over my things. He's dead. <laughs> Mara, Mara yeah. pops back up, like, right on, like, in front of, slash on top of where this, I don't know, bag of desiccated coconut now is, and just, like, uses the residual shadow to just blast all of the ash out of the house. <laughs> As you're starting to do that, you all feel the house glow with a warm light as it oh, hits so. on the hut 
you see the ash as you start to try to push it out. It actually starts to swirl inside of the hut. And you can hear, oh, this is just my next step to elevating my power. And the light disappears. And the cold of the winter day hits you. And the silent as the five of you stand there in the hut looking at each other. It's only broken with the sounds of Toad and Caster playing in the corner again. <laughs> you might want to move. Fuck that guy. This is my home. I won't leave. And she transforms back into her little self with the swishy hair and the pretty clothes. <sighs> well, looks like I'm going to have to rebuild pieces of my hut. Is it's not on fire? No. Did it get through into the interior walls at all? There's there's some so you see blackening and charring inside the home. You'll definitely need to work on it, but it, it hasn't deteriorated, you know? It's still a fully formed yeah. structure. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. I'm gonna look around at all four of you. Thank you. I could not have done this without your help. I mean, you're a pretty powerful witch. I, I don't believe that, but thank you. Just for the tea. Thanks. I don't think we've ever been thanked before. <gasps> you just, you. She, she kind of squeezed my shoulders. That was weird. <laughs> you're a lot nicer than other witches I've met. When you're connected with nature, I think you find something different. And when you're alone for very long periods of time, it's kind of nice to see others. <sighs> Would you guys like some more tea? I'm good. Oh, the, yeah. I, I will definitely. Yeah. The, that is a perfect place to end tonight's session. As you all uh. sit around drinking tea... The last thing that happens is Ezra hands over a small scroll to Alma. And Alma, as you unravel it, you can see that it is, in fact, a ritual spell for you to learn on your time as you see fit. You are going to gain the spell... Fay, what? Fay absence. Abeyance. Abeyance. Fay abeyance. And mm -hmm. also with that, as you all spend the night, well, you sit, spend the rest of the day into the night for the next morning, you all are going to stay there warm, cozy, and fed. You all are going to level up to level six. <gasps> oh, fuck yes! yes! Oh, level six. We're back, baby. I missed you. We're back. I missed you. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I have to build level seven. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Let me enjoy this moment. I'm going to come over there. Let me like get in there, done that. And then I'm gonna kick you yeah. off. You see, I killed that guy just by looking at him. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if Lenny does talk about this, Alma's gonna be like, "That's not." I did. Mara, Mara will completely encourage it. She knows that Lenny didn't, but she so will would, do it for shit. Emma <laughs> would as well. Emma would hundred percent be like. No, was, it, was, it was really you. It was oh, really get you. ready. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> I learned that spell when I was like 13. Okay, like, Oma, no one likes a about? jealous person, okay? That's just Look, really you don't funny. have to be ashamed not because it's you're, you're embarrassed by your skill. I casted right? the you're spell on you. you <laughs> what was it? All Lenny, of this seems Lenny. like a fun thing for us to discuss <laughs> next episode. <laughs> 
<laughs> but let's end off tonight. I would like to spend a special thank you to Haley for coming and joining with us. Uh, you, it was, and teaching it was... us how to play the game. Yeah. <laughs> thank, you. Amazing. thank you for carrying us. I'm sure your back must really hurt right now. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna undo my hair while I flip it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, thank you so much for joining us and helping us further take the story. Um, um, why don't we go around and say our goodbyes, and then I'll make announcements about next episode, and then we'll go from there. We'll go opposite. Um, why don't you start us off, Haley? Okay, thank you guys so much for letting me come and play with you. This was a heck of a lot of fun, and especially being as intimidated as I was by you guys so thank you um <laughs> for anybody that joined halfway through um i'm Haley. i'm from a party of two where my husband and i play a duet pathfinder second edition game and we have our one year anniversary next week so after you're done watching the wonderful and lovely parliament of owls you can come hop over in our stream and say hello that uh, yeah all right uh <laughs> let's uh <laughs> I was being bothered. Oh. There, uh, there was a, a small teddy bear underneath the bed, that, or underneath the uh, little the, fluffy the desk. gremlin. Oh man, no, Bobby. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, Um, uh, let's Why code live. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, the dog has such a big eye. <laughs> it's side caster. It's yeah. Oh. The caster is caster inspiration. Anyway, hi, I'm Liv. You can follow me on Twitter at Liv in a Day. I have an Alma, um, the underappreciated witch, and you can catch me playing other characters and being a menace in general all over the internet. Um, let's see, what's one project I really want to? Ooh, okay. This May under the table is going to be changing gears a little bit. We've had a couple of scheduling things. So for most of May, I believe it's going to be Tim who was previously on the show. And then my bestie, Alex um, and Keith. And we're going to be playing a new, uh, I think it's like a play test. We're going to be play testing for you all a game that I can basically describe as like, Modern warfare meets D and D, um, and so yeah, I'm going to try to do modern fighting, which I usually don't do. I'm a big fantasy girl, so <laughs> it'll be fun. I plan on playing like a feral little monster, so check us out as we do that um, on Mondays on Total Party Chill under the table, where we play test games and do D stuff, and it's fun. That the templar game is it i don't think so okay. not not no no emerald um templars was last week which okay. was great you should watch that vod you should get the game as well but it's going to be a character based on me in it which was very cool based on based Ew. on drack best on drack at least on my appearance um oh, i don't know okay. about the personality Ooh. i was i was about to say like uh since when were you a templar like uh <laughs> <laughs> there's some no. there's some some history here that we need to understand <laughs> um speaking of we'll move it on to you drack oh me um hi i'm drack called draconics uh you can find me on twitter at draconics that's d-r-a-k-o-n-i-q-e-s i am involved in a lot of things but the things I would like to specifically shout out, or the thing I would like to specifically shout out, is that I am in a new campaign over on Table Story uh, every Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern uh, called Kingmakers. We had a premiere last week, and we had we had a cold opening, and it was just me, or just a solo scene. So if you want to watch that and watch me sobbing, for basically sobbing in character for 40 minutes, because uh, that was my heart. It was very, it was very charged. That's why, that's why I wore the. So I, you can see me in uh, full of armor and earrings and everything, sobbing as um, someone dear to me. Something happens awful to my someone dear to me. But you can watch that every Tuesday um, at four PM Eastern. Um, also, starting June first, I'm going to be over on Utopia. It's going to be pre-recorded, but a game called um, um, God, I immediately forgot what it was called. Uh, a game sponsored by Roll is going to be, uh, if you think Cyberpunk plus Eldritch Horror mushed together, I'm going to be playing with a bunch of really cool people. We're going to have B Zelda on, we're going to have the Brandy Rose on, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to have Persephoroth on. Um, but that's going to be on Utopia side from June 1st, and it'll be a weekly thing for five episodes. Um, and that's pretty much 
it at the moment. I have other stuff, but those are the only ones I really want to shout out. All right, let's move on to Cat. Hi, I'm Cat Scratch, K A T S K R A T C H H. You can call me Cat, and I played Lenny, the empty headed gremlin that's doing her best. Um, my one thing to shout out is uh, the podcast I'm a part of called Forgotten Paths. It's on Google Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. It's an amnesia campaign where the characters know nothing about themselves and we just get to learn as we go through it. And it's getting really cool and my character is getting really cool and badass and I'm really, really happy with it. And so if you want to listen to it, we're doing really well and we're really proud of what we're making. So I would love for you to listen to it. I, I fucking love it. I highly recommend. It's very good. <laughs> uh, Valkyrie. Hello, I am Valkyrie, also known as Valkyrie Star XO. Um, I have played Mara. Um, I am not doing much at the moment, but if that changes, and it hopefully will in the next couple of weeks, you will find updates on my Twitter. Um, and yeah, I don't know, stick around, find my fan house. I'm apparently going to read dirty fucking AOE stuff and songs. <laughs> 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 Thanks for the idea, Liv. <laughs> I'm full of them. Uh, uh, my name is Jake. You can see me on Q Times here every Friday, but I'm also producing a bunch of shows um, on this channel. Monday nights is Stream Punks, and they are doing a Changeling the Dreaming. Tuesdays is Blackness and Dragons. Sundays is Power Play. It, that it's really weird because that sounds like a really light load for me. It's only four shows out of seven days a week, which is really weird Incredible. to me. It's really weird only having four shows. I yeah. still get told I'm doing too much. I literally sent uh, my schedule to a friend of mine and I was like, yeah, I've got a lot of days off. And they're like, that's not, that's not a lot. You're not normal. Stop it. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I'm right there with trying. you. My yeah. psychiatrist says that too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't let myself have any free time because it's a coping mechanism. Yeah, exactly. What do just I get? Keep going, just keep going. Just I'm guys, going. guys, you keep talking about the shit. I'm going to charge you for my time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, begging everybody heal. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's going on. Go. We need to go on a group retreat and just heal. <laughs> So uh, that's what's going on with the channel. Like I said, we have a, uh, a giveaway uh, on our Twitter account. We will also be doing a giveaway at the end of the month uh, on our Discord channel. Um, there was something else I wanted to talk about, but I've got. Oh yes, I'm on. Uh, I'm on a show tomorrow night. Um, I will be posting that on Twitter a bunch all day tomorrow. Uh, if you are local to the area of Southern California, you're going to Ren Fair tomorrow. Say hi to me because I will be there. Um, pass that. I, I, uh, I was that was last week was in a kilt. I don't think I'm gonna go in a kilt this week. Aww. No, yeah, because I gotta I gotta do a quick change when I'm done there. I gotta come home and you know, yeah. yeah. I don't know. What's we'll see. In a kilt? I mean, I mean, it's just I don't know if you've ever worn a kilt before, but like I it have. Gets, <laughs> it gets it gets hot. It gets hot under a kilt. Like Valid. everyone's like, oh, it's a no, no. It's 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 a it's wool. wool. It's wool. Yeah, if it's a yeah, real it's, one, it's there. It's, it's hot. <laughs> and, I, and I usually like to wear the knee-high socks with the little blade in the side. You know, like, I want... You okay, Val? I'm having, I'm having flashbacks to high school. <laughs> <laughs> blade Good in the sock and all. <laughs> Good ones, I hope. Um, <sighs> uh, with that, I'm, I'm out. Uh, deuces, my gooses. Bye, everyone.